Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, a sweet and ordinary baby is left on Dan and Laura's doorstep. They adopt her, but soon begin to wonder just how ordinary she is. It seems this baby has superpowers. But will the baby grow up to be a superhero or a villain? Watch this birth to death video all the way to the end to find out what happens. And guys, don't forget to like this video and comment below. So Dan, what should we do for dinner? I don't know, um, what about pizza? Dan, we had pizza last night. Yeah, but pizza's so good. Well, I guess we could order another pizza. I mean, we are adults, so we can have pizza two nights in a row, right? Yeah, and as long as we order a salad too, like, pff, it's healthy, right? Sure, sure it is. Oh, <sighs> today was such an ordinary day. Yeah, but ordinary's good, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I just wish something really cool would happen for a change. Well, sometimes I wish that too. Whoa, the pizza place read my mind. Can't even believe that. Dan, I'm sure they didn't read your mind. We didn't even call for the pizza yet. Yeah, but the pizza delivery guy just left it on the front step. Or maybe it was Amazon. I did order that baby llama. What? A baby llama? S seriously? <laughs> no, but I did order a bunch of shampoo, conditioner, and a bunch of other stuff that I needed. Oh, you're always ordering from Amazon. I know. They have such good deals. Whoa, this box is heavy. Are you sure you didn't order a baby llama? I'm pretty sure, Dan. Bring it in here. I can't wait to see my new shampoo. <sighs> Only you could get excited about shampoo. <coughs> what was that? Sounds like your baby llama's crying. I didn't order a baby llama. It was a joke. Well, it, 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 it's coming from the box. Did you cry? Did you order crying shampoo? Is that like a new thing? Makes your hair super shiny when it cries. Uh, no, Dan. There's no such thing as crying shampoo. Then why is this box from Amazon crying? Um, I don't know. But I think we better open it and find out. <coughs> Just a little bit of tape here. And, okay. OMG! It's a, it's a, it's a baby! <coughs> what? A baby? Oh my gosh! Oh, this is insane! Why, why would somebody drop off a baby? I don't know, but wow, she's adorable. She is quite cute. Hi, little baby. Hi, oh. I think we should name her Molly. Well, we can't name her yet. Maybe maybe someone is actually missing her. Uh, maybe, but I, I want to keep her. Dan, we need to call the police. Okay, but can we keep her if the police say we can? Yes, I think she'd be a great addition to our family. I agree. Hi, Molly. Hi, hi. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, well, it's not really an emergency. It's kind of the best thing ever happened to us, but, um, well, someone delivered a box and... Oh, wow. Did you get a package from Amazon? What'd you get? Did you get that new shampoo? Oh, uh, no, my wife ordered that, though. But listen, there was a baby inside the box. What? Are you serious? Okay, I'll be right over. Uh, you need to know our address, right? Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, Brookhaven Lane. Seriously? Your address is one, two, three, four? Hey, I didn't make it up. The town decided it. But yeah, it's a pretty easy address to remember. I'll be right there. Oh, hi, little baby. Oh, I so hope I get to be your mommy. <coughs> oh, Dan, I think she's hungry. Okay, well, um, panicking. What should I do? I wasn't expecting a baby. I can't exactly feed her pizza. Hello, police, open up. Okay, you can come on in. All right.
Hi. Where's the baby? Oh, I'm holding her over here. Oh, she's so adorable. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have a seat if you want to. <laughs> uh, make yourself at home, police officer. Well, I checked on the way over and no one is missing a baby. This baby hasn't even been reported missing. So maybe someone delivered it to you on purpose. Really? Like the stork or something? I don't know. But this baby has not been missing. It hasn't been reported at all. So if you want to adopt her, you can. Really? We'd love to adopt her. Aww. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Molly. Yeah, isn't that a great name? Aw, that's an adorable name. Well, if you need me for anything else, let me know. Just call 911 and I'll come to the rescue. Wow, I wasn't expecting a song. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I sort of moonlight as a singer. Oh, you're very good at it. Okay, back to the baby. Good luck with your singing career or being a police officer or whatever you do. Bye! Okay, well, I guess I better go on the computer and fill out the paperwork. <laughs> if we're going to adopt this baby, we need to make it legal. <laughs> I love this cat video. Dan, focus! We're trying to adopt Molly here. It's very important. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted by the cat video. <laughs> it's super funny. Okay, that paperwork's been filed. She's our daughter. Oh, Molly, I can't believe it. Turned out to be, well, an extraordinary day. Yeah, here we were wishing that something really awesome would happen, and now it did. Well, I guess if you wish for something, it really can come true. Yeah, it really can. Oh, it's getting very late. You need to go night-night. Come on, little baby. I'll feed you a bottle, and then I'll put you to bed. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Oh, good night, sweet Molly. I'll see you in the morning. Laura, I can't believe we became parents today. I know, right? Ugh, but being a mom is very tiring. Good night, Dan. Good night, Laura. <coughs> well, so much for going to bed. Yeah, I'll get her. Molly, Molly, <gasps> Molly! Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where's her stroller? Where's the baby? Oh my God! Oh, Dan, the baby's missing. Dan. What? Huh? What? I left the stroller here, and then, and now it's gone. Wait, you put the baby in a stroller? What about a crib? Dan, we don't have a crib yet. We haven't even gone to the store. We weren't even expecting a baby. So I just had a stroller left over from my cousin visiting and she left it here. And so I thought, well, that'd be a perfect place for the baby to sleep. And now the baby is gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Maybe the baby just rolled away. I mean, the stroller does have wheels. No, I locked the wheels. And where's she going to roll? The door was closed. I don't know, but... Wait a minute. I hear her. Sounds like it's coming from downstairs. Come on. M Molly? Are you watching Brookhaven High? Molly? How did, how did she get down here? I don't know, but she turned on the TV. She seems to like Brookhaven High. What? She's a baby. She couldn't do that. Uh, she's no ordinary baby. Well, I don't know, Dan, but it does seem kind of strange. Okay, Molly, it's time for a nice, delicious dinner. Ooh, that smells good, like Thanksgiving. No, I don't want to eat that. Oh, it's so good for you. Come on, you will love it. No, thank you, yucky. Molly, it's very healthy for you so you grow up big and strong. Here you go, Molly. Mmm, doesn't that smell good? Ew, I don't want it. <laughs> That's much better. Wait a minute. Did she just turn her, her turkey dinner into ice cream? She's no ordinary child. Well, you sort of have a point, Dan. Mm, ice cream, yum. Oh, look at her. She's still crawling. Yeah, but she needs to learn how to walk, Laura. It's time. Okay, Molly. Watch Mommy. Watch Mommy. See how I walk? 
See? <laughs> so cool, right? Don't you want to walk? No, I don't want to walk. You have to walk, Molly. Come on. Just try it. It's going to be fun. I crawl. I, I crawl. I, I don't know. I don't know. I crawl. No, come on. Walking's so fun. Just try it one time. And if you don't like it, you never have to try to walk again. Well, Dan, I wouldn't tell her that. I mean, she eventually has to walk. What's she going to crawl to prom? Uh, yeah, good point. Come on, just try it, Molly. You're going to like walking. Okay, I try once. Oh, she's standing up, Laura. Okay, now just one foot in front of the other, Molly. Whee! Whee! Um, Dan, she's walking really fast. I keep telling you, she's no ordinary child. I ran into things. Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, it's okay, Molly. Trust me. You're going to learn how to, to walk just soon enough. Uh, I think she already knows how to walk, Dan. I think she just has to learn how to not run into things. <sniffs> wow, all that fast walking really made her tired. Well, time for a nap then. Oh, man, I forgot my lunch money. Give me your lunch. Um, I could share it with you if you want, or you could borrow the money from me, but I need to have lunch because I have gym after, and I'm going to be super hungry. No, I don't want half your lunch, and I don't want your money. I just want your lunch. Um, I don't... I don't want you to take my lunch. Please, please don't take my lunch. Uh, hello? I'm taking your lunch. Give it to me. But, but that's my lunch. Not anymore, loser. Now it's my lunch. What? What is this? What? She just stole Brookie's lunch? I'm really hungry. I, 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 I need that food because I'm hungry. <laughs> Brookie, it's, it's going to be okay. I, I'll help you get your lunch back. You will? How? She's the biggest bully in school. Don't worry about a thing. Watch this. Here you go, Brookie. What? Uh, how, how did you do that? <gasps> You're a witch! She's an evil witch! I am not a witch. How did you do that, Molly? Never mind how I did it. Here's your lunch. I'm gonna get you detention forever! Because you're a witch! Ugh, she's so annoying. Come on, let's have lunch. Do you want to share with me, Molly? Nah, I brought my own. Molly, that's not a healthy lunch. Mmm, but it's a delicious one. Ooh, they've got pizza too? Oh, that looks so good. After I finish this, of course. What'd you get? A cheeseburger and some fries and stuff. Mmm, well, I'm glad you got your lunch and Sarah didn't. Yeah, she is a total witch. Yep, I saw it with my own eyes. Witch, evil witch. <laughs> I know. I couldn't believe it either. But it's the truth. Hmm. This new ice cream shop has the most delicious ice cream in the whole world. Ah! Help! I don't know how to swim! Oh my gosh! That little kid is drowning! Don't worry! I'll save you! I can't get out! Okay, hang on to me. Hang on to me, okay? No! I don't it's gonna be okay. Just get on my shoulders, okay? Ah! Oh my gosh! You, you just saved that little girl. She's a superhero. Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Um, uh, it's just kind of something I do, you know. Like I walk around town and, um, well, I, I just help people who need help. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Oh, gee, thanks. I, 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 I was just being myself. Yourself is pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lily, you're so adorable. Sweet little girl. I think your daddy's going to be home from work soon. Molly, Lily, I'm home from work. See? <laughs> I can just tell when people are coming to the house even before they get here. Something in my brain just tells me. Oh, there's my girls. Oh, my family. Hey, Luke, how was work today? It was good, you know, I just saved some people, and but I'm not a superhero like you. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, and you're my superhero. And Lily's too. What's for dinner? I was thinking pizza, what do you think? Sounds good to me. 
Oh my gosh, the superhero phone is ringing. Here, Luke, take the baby. Hi, baby, hi. Superhero Molly. <laughs> what? He okay, I'll be right there. Oh no, don't tell me I'm getting takeout again. Sorry, but duty calls, honey. Bye! We love you, Mommy! Oh man, it's raining. I just got my hair done. Honey, I'm home. Oh, there you are, dear. Oh, looking as beautiful as... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to your teeth? Ah, one of the villains knocked them out again. Oh, dear. <laughs> are you ever going to give up being a superhero? You're getting old now. We're both in our 70s. I feel fit as a fiddle. Oh, you got some groceries, I see. Nah, this is the bag with my teeth in them so the dentist can put them back in. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping you would have stopped and got me some Maalox. <laughs> my stomach's kind of upset. Oh, Luke, <laughs> you and your stomach. Oh, I'm just getting too old. Nonsense, you're not that old. I am, though. Oh, I could die at any moment, actually. Oh. Luke? Luke, say something! Oh, my time is coming to an end. But it looks like you have super genes, Molly, and you don't age, so you'll be around long after me. <laughs> Luke! No! I can't live without you, Luke! You're the love of my life! <laughs> Seriously, Luke, say something! Anything! Oh no, I've outlived him! I'm gonna outlive everybody because I'm a superhero and I have superhero genes. Oh. I can't believe it. Dad died. But mom, you still look like you're 25. I know. It's just, it's my super genes. It basically means that I'm gonna outlive everyone. Mom, I'm just sad that dad died. I know, honey. I'm sad too. Your dad was a wonderful person. Mom, I I have a confession to make. What? What is it? Um, well, for one, I think you should have your teeth put back in. Don't worry, I saved them in a bag, see? <laughs> I'm ready to go to the dentist any day now. Once we get the funeral and everything over. Ew, Mom, that's gross. Your teeth are in a bag? Yeah, well, I had to keep them if the dentist is going to put them back in. Um, Mom, I've got to show you something. Okay, I'm, I'm watching. What? She's running super fast! Lily? Oh my gosh! Sh sh she's a... That's right, Mom. I'm a superhero. I'm probably going to live forever, too. Lily, that's great news! We'll never be alone, and we can save the entire town of Brookhaven from, from villains! That's right, Mom. I just hope I keep all my teeth. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a part of the job. Your dad would be so proud. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. It's the perfect day to go sleigh riding, family. I couldn't agree more. This is going to be such a fun day. I'm glad I took the day off of work. I mean, the roads were really slippery, and it just seemed like a bad idea. What's going on? Why is there a giant imposter in here? Holy guacamole! Our town is being taken over by bad guys! Dad! Mom! Run! Molly, hurry up! Get into the into the costume section so that we can turn into our superheroes. The costume store? Why would I go to the costume store? I'm an actual superhero. I know, but everybody knows that a superhero needs a costume. Duh. Okay, fine. I'll put on my costume. Da -da 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 -da. Is that better? Yes, Molly. Wow, you look awesome. Now let's take back our town. I couldn't agree more. Hey, guys. um, Are you guys out um, having fun sleigh riding and stuff? Whoa, they look kind of weird. <sighs> ah, zombie! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely zombies in the town. There's a giant imposter. OMG, I've got to go get some weapons because there's going to be zombies that are going to try to kill me and that would be very bad. Okay, how do I get this weapon? Got it. Okay, what is it? Oh, that is so cool. Um, 
Who are you? Marley, it's me. Ah, oh, gee, please, you can't even recognize me in my costume. Okay, well, let's see what your weapon does because I just want to tell you mine is pretty amazing. Mine's just a sword. Oh, yeah? Well, mine does this. Holy guacamole, Marley! It's like a sword that turns into blades. Okay, let's eliminate some of these zombies. Molly, have you seen Mom and Dad? I'm wondering what's going on with them. They're probably just still getting into their costumes. Oh, yeah! Take that, zombies! Oh, these things don't work too good. Hiya! 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 Oh, <laughs> that is the end of you, zombies! Molly, we got more police zombies here! Can't believe they went after the police. Yeah, and there's a prisoner zombie. Oh my god, they're all over me. Ah, Daisy! Oh, don't look now, Marley. The imposter's here and he's wearing a birthday hat. Things must be a party for these evil guys. <sighs> Ew, rotted zombie. You stink. You need a bath. Oh my god, they all come at you at once. Okay, I'm gonna go find mom and dad. Their powers are much stronger than ours because they're grown ups. Good idea, Molly. Good idea. Mom and Dad were supposed to meet me here. I wonder where they'd be. <laughs> ah! It's it and Sans! <laughs> we're your parents now. Oh my gosh, Molly. They must have had a spell put on them. Now the bad guys. Listen, Dad, you don't have to be bad. You don't have to do this. <laughs> we all float down here, Molly. Ah, they're evil! Daisy, run! Well, they're gonna be zero help until we kill all these zombies and basically, um, you know, try to turn them back. I don't know if we can turn them back. I think they might be like this forever. Don't worry. I've got my bear claws. Ha, ha, ha. Try it. Just try it, prisoner zombie. <laughs> Molly, I don't think this bear claws are working too good. Okay, um, time to be Ant-Man. Molly, you're huge. What are you doing? I'm just, like, trying to stomp everybody, I guess. <laughs> Take that and that. Molly, you're epically huge. I know. What are we going to do about Mom and Dad? I don't really know, Molly. Maybe, maybe they'll just get better when all these zombies are gone. They turned me back into my normal size. Um, I'm not sure about that, Daisy, but holy guacamole. These zombies are evil. I'm pulling out all of my weapons and nothing seems to be working. A furnace zombie. <laughs> What's a furnace zombie? Ah, my head just fell off, Daisy! Uh, Molly, I think that's a bad thing. Oh, man, I'm not wearing my outfit anymore. Okay. Captain Marvel. Cyborg. Deadpool, Doctor Strange. Oh, man, I hope these weapons work really good. Let's see. Um, This makes everything on fire, so I'm going to be Doctor Strange. Oh, yes, I am. Bring it, bad guys. Bring it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't like that very much, did you, imposter? All right, let's go set some zombies on fire. Wow, Molly, that's sort sort of evil. What? I mean, the, the furnace zombie does it. I'm not allowed to. Oh, the biker zombie is gone. And goodbye. Okay, I like being Doctor Strange. This is great. Molly, they're ganging up on you behind you. Look out. Toxic zombie. Oh, boy. Oh, Daisy, how's the gun work? Pretty good, Molly. It shoots zombie juice. Ugh. Gross! The anti-zombie truce. Devil one. He probably won't be killed by this fire then. These zombies are super evil. We all float down here, Molly. <laughs> we like being evil. Dad, no you don't! Don't say that! Okay, um, this is taking forever. I have to go back and try something else, I think. Let me try, um, this ray gun. Holy guacamole! It makes, like, Giant explosions! <laughs> ah, they kicked up on! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh, they killed me again! Oh, whoever, Molly, that's not good. That's not good at all. Don't worry about it, don't worry. I'm, I'm cool, I got this. Cyborg's gun is insane. Boom! Okay, what does 
Captain Marvel's weapon do? Okay, I, I think um, Cyborg's weapon is the best. Just for these zombies and stuff. Daisy, you're so green. We should costume, Molly. We've had this conversation. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't wear the superhero costume this time. I'm too busy trying to kill all these zombies, and they just keep reappearing. We're never getting our parents back, are we, Daisy? It doesn't look like it, Molly. It doesn't look like it. Dan, are you home? Oh, there you are. I should have known you'd be watching TV. Oh, it was such a long day today. Tell me about it. Work was crazy. Well, come sit on the couch and relax for a minute, Laura. We can just chill together. Aw, that sounds great, Dan. So, what should we have for dinner? I don't know. How about some... Uh, meatloaf. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking pizza. Or cheeseburgers! Ooh, that sounds delicious. Or maybe we should have breakfast for dinner. I mean, we're grown-ups, so we can do whatever we want. We could have waffles! Ooh, that sounds delicious! I'll go get them started. <laughs> I love the way you think, Dan. Mm, these are delicious. Dan, you were supposed to wait for me, jeepers. Sorry, I'm starving. <laughs> Isn't our life so perfect, Laura? I wouldn't want our life to be any other way. Well, it is pretty great, I have to admit. <sighs> it's just, well, I feel a little, I don't know, lonely. Lonely? I'm sitting right here next to you. Yeah, I know. I don't I don't mean that I'm lonely, like, because you're here. I, 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 I mean, I'm lonely because I want a family. What? Uh, wait a minute. A, a, a baby unicorn? Actually, I was thinking there's so many kids down at the adoption center that need good homes. Maybe we could adopt one. Um, I don't know. We could think about it. I'm gonna eat this waffle, though, right now. Dan, I'm being serious. Well, let's just do our night routine and relax and, like, talk about it tomorrow, okay? Okay, Dan. Oh, this is the life. Chilling in the hot tub. Oh, yeah. Dan, where'd you go? Are you gonna help me clean up? Oh, uh, <laughs> oopsie, I'm already in the hot tub. Oh, Dan. <sighs> Good thing I don't mind doing the dishes because Dan hates doing the dishes. I hope when we have kids someday that they take after me and they don't mind doing them because there's going to be so many more dishes when they live here and so much more laundry. Laura, are you still thinking about a baby? Um, well, uh, yeah. I thought we agreed we're going to talk about it in the morning. Uh, yeah, okay. I could set up the um spare room with cribs. It would be so cute. I could make it, I could make it like an adorable unicorn theme and, and I would love that. Oh my gosh, she's still thinking about babies. She's even talking about it out loud. She's really serious about this. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready to be a dad. I don't know, I don't know. Dan, are you okay? It kind of sounds like you're hyperventilating. <laughs> Dan, did you just neigh? Well, I am a unicorn, you know. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, but you only neigh when you get really nervous. What are you so nervous about? I mean, being a dad. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're really ordinary, except for the fact that we're unicorns. I don't think that that should matter. I mean, they can't just disqualify us to be parents just because we have a horn and a tail. And we're unicorns. I know we're unicorns, Dan. But we'd be amazing parents. We're going to be amazing parents. So what do you say? Tomorrow, should we go to the adoption center? I don't know. This sounds like a really big step in our lives. Yeah, but Dan, I think we're ready. Okay, I have to admit, I've been thinking about becoming a dad too. You have? For real? Yeah. Just, I don't know. I, I think, like, being a unicorn, well... It, it's just different if you're a unicorn parent. No, it's not. Kids still, well, they cry and they want to be held and they want to drink bottles and they need to have their diapers changed. Whether you're a unicorn or whether you're not a unicorn or whether you're a unicorn parent or whether you're not a unicorn parent, it's pretty much all the same. Except for we have horns and a tail. Dan. Dan seriously, Dan, did you just like pass out? What's going on? 
Just the thought of being a dad is like so crazy to me. Ah, <sighs> well, maybe he's just not ready yet. <sighs> no, 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 no. I think we're ready. Yay! You mean it? Absolutely. Tomorrow we'll go to the adoption center. Yes! Dan? Dan, are you awake? Oh, I am now. Oh. Dan, it's it's adoption day. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Laura, it's it's 4.30 in the morning. I know, but today's the day that's going to change our lives. Oh my gosh, Laura. Oh, I can't wake up this early. You better learn how, Dan. This is exactly the time kids wake up, start crying for a bottle. Wait, what? We have to get up this early? Are you serious? Oh, I can't even crawl out of bed right now. Oh, Dan. <laughs> you should be excited. We're going to be parents. I'm excited. Just give me some coffee. Nay. Oh, man. Oh, Dan, don't be nervous. Come on, this is going to be amazing. Okay. Uh, um. Don't worry, Dan. I'll do the talking. Hi. We're the unicorn family, and we'd like to fill out an application for adoption. What? A unicorn family? Are you serious right now? Uh, yeah, we're totally serious. We're a unicorn. See our horn and our tail? Uh, <laughs> just my luck. Perfect. Oh, well, I'm glad you think that we're amazing applic applicants for um, adoption. Uh, yeah, no, I can't talk to you right now. Yeah, I know you're my boss, but I don't care, okay? I've, I've got something to do. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> Surprising you don't get fired. If I did that with my boss, I totally would. Dan, shh. We're trying to be nice to her, remember? We want to adopt. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that was totally okay that you were rude to your boss. <laughs> You're not going to get fired or anything. Yeah, sure. Not fired at all. Dan, shh. Sorry. I'm just a little nervous. Um. So, um. yeah, I'm going to take my three wishes now. Wait, what? Yeah, my three wishes. <laughs> what do you mean, three wishes? You're a unicorn, so I want some wishes. Oh, <laughs> very funny. We're, we're here to adopt the unicorn family? We want to adopt? I don't care if you want to adopt. I want my wishes first. Uh, you've mistaken us for a genie. We don't grant wishes. Well, then I don't grant adoptions. Um, actually, honey, if she wishes for it, we have magic. So she can actually have the wishes. What? Since when? I thought that was only genies in a bottle. Ugh, you don't even know about your own species. Pathetic. So let's talk about my wishes. Then could we talk about um the baby that we're coming here to adopt? Maybe, but let's talk about my wishes. My first wish is to be the richest Roblox player ever. Okay, your wish is my command. <laughs> What? Louis Vuitton? Amazing. And look at this huge bag of cash. Uh, yeah, but you're rich now, so, uh, you don't have to wear the jeans with the holes in them. Like, you can afford jeans that actually are all sewn together. What? No, this is totally in style. <laughs> this is exactly what I should be wearing. Well, I'm glad you're happy with your wish. Now, do you think that maybe we could, um, see the children that need adopting? Yeah, we want to adopt. Did we mention we're the unicorn family? Um, Dan, she knows you have a horn and a tail, and she just made wishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Whatever. Okay, so for my second wish, I want to be famous. Um, you actually have to say I wish. Oh, I can't believe I'm even saying that. I wish that I was famous. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so famous. Look at my microphone. P-I-G-G-Y. A piggy's after me. P-I-G-G-Y. A piggy won't just set me free. Oh, um, yeah. You're a super good singer and stuff. Yeah, best singer ever. And dancer. Don't forget I'm an amazing dancer. Um, good thing I made her famous because I don't think she'd get there off her singing and dancing skills. I know, right? She's terrible. What? What'd you say? Um, nothing. I <laughs> said you're amazing at being famous. Hello? Brookhaven Adoption Center. How can I help you? What? You want Karen's autograph? What? 
What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, I know I'm a kid, but I, I have to work here because Karen makes me do all the all the chores. <laughs> yeah, I answer the phone. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you can come in and get an autograph. Bye. <laughs> Who is calling so many times? Hello, Brookhaven Adoption Center. How can I help you? <laughs> what? You want Karen's autograph? <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is going on? Why does everybody want her autograph? Karen, Karen, everybody wants your autograph. They're all calling the number. Karen, what what, what are you doing? I'm dancing, duh. I'm totally famous. Uh, um, okay. A P I G G Y. A P is after me. A P I G G Y. A P, won't you set me free? Wow, you sound like someone who does really bad karaoke. What? No, I don't. I'm famous and I'm rich. I'm the richest player in all of Roblox. Um, okay. How? <laughs> because you weren't rich before. Um, that would be because of us. Whoa! Are, are, are you guys really unicorns for real? Yup. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Dan. What's your name? Oh, I'm Molly. <laughs> nice to meet you. I think that's so cool. You guys are unicorns. Yeah, apparently Karen thinks it's cool too. Since she's been making me grant wishes for her for the last hour. Wait, what? Karen? I don't care what you have to say. You're just a kid and you're dumb. Go away. What? Uh, 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 fine. <laughs> Karen, I don't think that's the way you should be talking to the kids here. That's really rude. How do you still have a job? Be quiet, unicorn. I still have one last wish. Um, I don't think so. I'm not going to grant it. You have to. Oh my gosh. Please adopt me and my sister Daisy. She's mopping all the floors right now and cleaning the toilets upstairs. Karen makes us do all the jobs here. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Oh, is your sister about the same age as you? Yeah, she's just a little bit younger than me. Ah, we'd love to adopt sisters, wouldn't we? Well, you are pretty adorable, <laughs> and you seem pretty smart and nice, too. That's awesome. Yeah, so will you adopt us? No one is adopting anyone. You owe me my wish. Um, okay, but I don't know if this is such a good idea. I mean, you seem kind of, well, evil. Hmm, I gotta get on my computer and print out an adoption paper. Then the unicorn parents can be my parents. Got it! Hey, guess what, Karen? <laughs> I have the adoption paper. They're going to be our our parents. Daisy, we've got new parents. Get back here with that, you little brat. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> you can't catch me, Karen. You're slow. 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 I wish you'd give me that paper. Uh, your wish is my command. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I just use my last wish? Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I take it back. Sorry, Karen. You can't take your wishes back. <laughs> what are you laughing about, you little brat? <laughs> Seriously, what are you laughing about? <laughs> I'm laughing because Daisy printed another copy of the adoption papers. And now we're out of here, Karen. No! I can't believe it! You guys are actually going to be our parents! We can't believe it either. Molly, I can't believe that a unicorn is going to be our mom and our dad. Can we have wishes? <laughs> Only if it's Christmas, girls. I can't give wishes all the time. You guys will turn into spoiled brats. What? No, not us. We'd never be spoiled brats. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Molly. I want all the wishes. Oh. MG! Don't be a Karen, Daisy! Don't do it! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm nothing like evil Karen. Jeepers, I hope not, since we're all going to be living in the same house. Speaking of house, do you want to see where you live? Yeah, totally! Let's do this! Well, welcome home! Uh... Go on in! See what it's like! Uh, guys, this... This, this, this is a... This is a barn! Mmm, this hay is delicious. Anybody hungry? Dad, um, I don't understand. We're inside a barn and you're eating hay. Of course I am. <laughs> Unicorns are pretty much horses with giant horns on their head. 
Wait, you, you, you live in a barn? That's right! Isn't this amazing? Ah, uh, well, at least we don't live with that crazy Carolyn anymore. <laughs> this hay will make a pretty good bed. Well, I guess we can check out what's up here. Uh, this, this could be a pretty good bedroom, I guess. Marty, the hay's not too bad. It's pretty comfortable. See, I'm sleeping on it. Um, we're, we're cool with living here. <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> Just, Dan, you can stop eating hay now. I don't know. It's kind of good. Dan, we're unicorns. We don't eat hay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess that will give me a little bit of a stomach ache. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's so funny. Can you guys tell us? Of course, we don't live in a barn. We we're just teasing you guys. Oh, really? You don't? Okay, that's a relief because I thought maybe because you're part horse, we really would live here. But we're not part horse, so can we live in a real house? Of course, we have a real house. Don't be silly. Come on, we'll take you there now. This is our actual house. Whoa! Mom and Dad, unicorn, this is great! Was that a pool I just saw? <laughs> yeah, of course we have a pool. We have pretty much everything. OMG, a hot tub! Can I get in? Please, Mom, please, please. Sure, but do you want an ice cream first? Yeah! Um, can I just go in the kitchen and get it? Of course you can. This is your house now. But just remember, you can't have ice cream always. Sometimes you need to eat healthy. Don't worry, Mom, I will. Mm, but this ice cream's so good. At the adoption center, we never got to have ice cream or anything delicious. Yeah, that's so true. Aw, well, you have a family with us now, and we're going to take very good care of you. That's right, girls. Hey! <laughs> Did you just neigh like a horse? He does that when he gets nervous. No need to be nervous. We're going to be the best daughters ever. Yeah, well, I will be. Sometimes Molly gets detention. Daisy, shh! You get detention, Molly? You seem so sweet and nice. Why do you get detention? Because she doesn't always do a homework. Daisy! Well, I think we're going to have to work on that, huh, Molly? Uh, we could try. <laughs> I'm kind of terrible at doing my homework. And then when I do it, I kind of forget it at home. Well, I can always just get it there in a split second because I'm a unicorn, so I'm magic. <laughs> I can snap my fingers and it'd be there in a second. Plus, I'm super fast, so I can just run to the school. Okay, Dad, calm down, calm down. First, I actually have to do my homework. Yes, and you'll be doing your homework every night. Okay, but can we get in the hot tub? Sure, Molly, but don't forget to put your bathing suit on. Bathing suit? Who needs one of those? <laughs> yeah, who needs one of those? Ah, this is a life. Except for, well, uh, my ice cream is melting. <laughs> Mine too, Molly. Ooh, I love our new house. We are so happy that you're our daughters. Aw, we're happy too. Oh, oh my god, I'm late for school again. I'm late for school again. This is so bad. <laughs> so bad. And that's why you're a total loser, Daisy. I'm not a loser. Stop saying that, Sarah. You're so rude. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Are you bullying my sister again? Um, no. I'm just telling her how it is. She's such a loser. Don't say that about my sister or else. Or else what? Ugh, whatever. You're both such losers. Sarah, get out of here. Go. Get out of here. Go. Go. That's okay. You kind of smell anyway. Wait, what? I do? Do I smell, Daisy? Um, well, maybe a little. You did run to school. <laughs> oh, man. I think I have some deodorant in my locker. Molly, Sarah is so rude. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I wish she could stop being a bully for just one day. Well, maybe, maybe she would if she just had some real friends. Yeah, right. Doubt it. Well, we better get to class. Hey, Sarah. Um, you look really pretty today. Don't even talk to me, Tommy. Ugh, you're such a nerd. Hey, don't be mean to Tommy. He's super cool. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Molly. <laughs> uh, Sarah, I was wondering if maybe you, uh... Oh, my gosh. I think Tommy's gonna ask Sarah to the dance. <laughs> Good luck with that. She's rude. What do you want? Like, seriously, you're starting to annoy me. Um, I was wondering, uh, I think you're really pretty and, um, well, uh, kind of nice. And I was wondering, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? <laughs> uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna go so good. 
<laughs> Are you laughing because you're so excited about going to the dance with me? No, I'm laughing that you'd ever think I'd go to the dance with you. <laughs> you're such a nerd and I'm popular. Like, I'm a cheerleader. Pfft, you're not even supposed to be talking to me. Goodbye. Whoa, um, that was not nice, Sarah. Oh my god, I'm humiliated. Tommy, what's going on? Oh boy, I better get into class and see see what the drama is now. What's going on, Molly? Well, Tommy decided to ask Sarah to the dance. What? Seriously? Uh, she's kind of out of his league. Well, must be he didn't get the memo on that one. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 11. Oh, school's already making my brain hurt. When's lunch? <laughs> oh, I'm so humiliated. Well, Tommy, the good news is it's lunchtime. I don't want lunch. I don't want anything. Oh, I need to go to a different school. Don't worry, Tommy. Sarah's mean to everybody. She's probably going to go to the dance alone because who would want to go with such a bully like her? Probably the star football player will go with her. She's so beautiful and the cheerleader and... Well, she might be beautiful, uh, but not on the inside because, man, she is ugly on the inside. She's rude and mean and a bully. Now, come on, Tommy. Let's go have lunch. I'm starving. Yeah, maybe later, Molly. Give me that cheeseburger. It looks delicious. Not a chance, Sila. It's mine. I'm starving, and I want that cheeseburger now. Sila, no. Sarah, could you just stop being a bully for five seconds of your life? I'm not a bully. I just tell it how it is. Uh, yeah, and we also call that a bully. B-U-L-L-I-E. Buddy, that's not how you spell bully. Ugh, you're such a loser. You don't even know how to spell bully. Yeah, it's B-U-L-L-I-E, right? Ay, yeah, yeah. you need to pay attention in class more often. How do you spell it? B-U-L-L-Y. Oh, yeah, and if it's plural, it's B-U-L-L-I-E-S. <laughs> My mistake. Oh, I'm so sick of Sarah's bullying. Tell me about it, Molly. Well, I don't know what there is to do about it, but I think some pizza will help me. Mmm, delicious. Maybe we're just not seeing things from Sarah's perspective. Sarah's perspective? Pfft, who cares about that? I'm just saying, Molly. Mmm, this Coke is good. Maybe she has a reason that she is the way she is. And we don't know because we're not in her shoes. Of course we're not in her shoes. She has much bigger feet than I do. And they probably stink like rotten cheese. Ma Molly, no. It's a figure of speech. Um, being in someone else's shoes means you live their life. You don't live their life, so you don't know what it's like to live their life. Huh, what? Can't hear you over the chewing of my pizza. Molly! Okay, fine, what? Just saying, unless we live our life, we don't know why. Whoa, that gave me a great idea! Oh no, she has an idea. This can't be good. Spellbook, spellbook, spellbook. No, not the spellbook! Molly, not the spellbook! Okay, let's see. I have Newt. Ew, I have Newt. Gross. What are you doing, Molly? I'm switching lives with Sarah for the day. What? Why? Well, because you said I had to see what it's like to be in her shoes. And she's going to see what it's like to be in mine. Here's the spell. Okay, I just got to go find Sarah. Molly, I don't think this is such a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to be there for practice. Yeah, no, we can get pizza after practice. Uh-huh. What do you want, loser? What are you doing? Spellbook? What's this about? Ugh, you're so annoying. Alakazi! Alakadu! I'm gonna trade my life with you! What? What's happening to me? What's happening to me? Whoa, this feels kind of weird. <laughs> I'm starving. I need to go have some lunch, and I'm probably gonna share it with everyone I know. Why is she so friendly? She's so annoying. What a loser. Ugh. Let me go see if I can bully somebody for their lunch. Wait, why am I going this way? Gosh, school is so annoying. It's so big. You never figure out where I'm going half the time. Oh, hey, Malia. <laughs> I got a pizza to share. Uh, I don't plan on sharing it with you. You could just give it to me. Wait, what? Why? Oh, hi, guys. Oh, I'm so embarrassed around you, Sarah. Why? Why are you embarrassed? Uh, because he's a loser and you're not? 
bully. That, that wasn't very nice. What's wrong with you? I don't know. She's been a bully all day. Uh, wait, what? Are you talking to me, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> You're super nice. Oh, does that mean you changed your mind about going to the dance with me? Yeah, I'll go to the dance with you. Huh, what do you know? A loser gets to go with the cheerleader. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. Whoa, Marty, you look grumpy. <gasps> Did the spell work? What spell? Get away from me, you're such a loser. Marty, I'm your sister. What do you mean I'm a loser? Where's your lunch money? Give it to me. Marty, oh my God, you are a bully. <gasps> that means Sam was super nice. I gotta go see this. Hey, get back here. I'm... Give me your lunch! Give me your lunch money, one or the other. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hey, Daisy. You want some of this pizza that I bought? It's delicious. And also, I've decided to go to the dance with Tommy. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Molly, your spell is amazing. What is she talking about? Spell? There's no spell. Ugh, you guys leave me the pizza and all your money and get out of here. Whoa, Molly, I don't know when you turned into a bully, but... Kinda stinks. I don't like it. I don't like any of you. <laughs> Ew, Molly, did you just fart? Yeah, and that's what I think of you when you eat all the pizza and don't give me any. Um, we said we'd give you some, Molly. I don't want any of your stinky pizza. It's not us that's stinky, Molly. Take a look in the mirror. I don't like anybody at this school. <laughs> I don't like any any of the subjects. <laughs> I don't like any of it want to go home and like hang out maybe play a video game or something Ooh, what's this Doritos not even Doritos can make me happy okay they can make me like a little happy mm. Molly um try to think back to what you did before you became well this Molly uh okay I guess I can not really sure why you're interrupting me while I'm eating my Doritos um you were reading a spell book remember oh yeah that's right Wait a minute. Did I cast a spell? Yeah, and I was wondering how long it's going to last. I really don't like you right now. I don't really like you either. Rude. Wait, the spell I cast, I can't remember what it was, but it said it lasts 15 minutes. Oh, good. We're 14 minutes and 39 seconds. Should be any minute now. I have to go bully some people. Get away from me, loser. Oh, no. Here comes Molly again. I'm so confused. First you were a bully and now you're nice and now she's a bully and I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Wow, this was you too cool. What are you talking about? Why are you losers sitting next to me? Get away from me, Tommy. You smell like a taco. Oh, <laughs> I had tacos for lunch. Uh, would you like some? You know, I, I could make tacos even before the school dance. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, are you going to go to the school dance? No, not... Well, yeah, I'm going to go, but, like, not around any of you guys. Wait, but you said you were going to go to the school dance with me. Wait, I... Oh, my God, why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going with a nerd! Um, too late. I already bought your corsage and my tuxedo, so you have to go with me. Oh, my God, this is horrible! Oh! So, Molly, what did you learn about walking a mile in Sarah the Bully's shoes? I learned that her shoes are stinky and they hurt my feet. Really, Molly, that's it? No, I just learned that she's grumpy and I have no idea why. She's just a bully. Well, I'm sure she has a good reason and, um, I want her to be your friend. Well, Tommy, good luck to you. Good luck! trouble did you get us in this time molly who me what why am i always getting blamed because molly if the prison outfit fits then wear it what what are you talking about never mind <sighs> well, how do we get out of here i don't know but i think we should start by telling the fans that they should like and subscribe to this video molly now is not the time to tell the fans to like the video first we have to figure out how to get out of here Oh, that'll be easy, but telling them to subscribe is super important. So, guys, please, 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 please subscribe. They will, Molly. I know it. They're awesome like that. And, guys, also don't forget to like this video. Oh, I can't get up there. Okay, somehow we have to go over here and get up into that vent. 
Just follow me, Molly. We can take the pipes down. Oh, oh. Okay, I think we have to break the vent cover. I don't have like a hammer. Oh, can't forget my teddy bear. Oh. Molly, focus already, cheapos. All right, let's see. Uh, I just gotta bend this bar with my incredible strength. Just kidding. It just opened. <laughs> Keep punching. Punch, 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 punch. Now, Grandma Molly, oh, wait, over here. Ah! Okay, I already died. <laughs> Molly, try a little harder, would you? I don't want to be stuck in prison forever. I have science homework to do. I'd rather stay in prison than do my science homework. Do they give you cupcakes in prison? No, you don't get any cupcakes ever. Oh, that stinks. Okay, Molly, push this button and then hurry because I don't think that it lasts forever. You mean the little ledges? Why? I died! Oh my gosh, that was cray, cray, cray. Ah, I hit my head again! Oh my god, there's spikes down here. They never, ever, ever want you to get out of Barry's prison. I don't know why they named it after Barry, but... Ah! Molly, you need to use Power of the Unicorn. We're gonna be in this prison forever. Okay. Power of the Unicorn with your sparkly horn! You did it, Molly! Well, actually, your unicorn helped you. Yeah, so... At least I have a unicorn. Wait, what's this place? It's just back down into the prison. Be careful. There's Barry and we don't want to get caught. Okay, it's going to be fine. We're just going to do this. We're going to wait till his back is turned and then we're going to run like crazy. And Daisy, what are you doing? I'm trying not to get caught, but I'm sort of stinking at it. <laughs> okay, I think we just have to push that button. Push that button with your... Ah, he got me! Oh, I was going to push the button with my left hand too. Okay, I'm gonna hide over here. Molly, come on! I'm escaping without you! Whatever, Daisy! You didn't even wait for your amazing, uh, smart, loyal sister. Ew, he's farting. Ew! Molly, run! He's after you! I'm going! I thought I had to push a button, but I'm just gonna go, and I didn't push the button. Uh-oh. Molly, you have to push the button. Sorry, I don't have time for such things. Daisy, did you push the button? For myself, but not for you. Oh, man, Daisy, that's rude. Okay, let's see if it's open for me. Of course not, Molly. You have to push the button. Oh, man. This stinks. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to go back like this. I'm going to push this button. And I'm going to run. You can't get me. You can't get me. Fat berry, fat berry, fat berry. <laughs> Now I just have to try to not die as I walked across these pipes and, um, yeah, I might actually escape. The most evil prisoner's cell. Oh, boy. They must have sold some kids lunch money. They're probably really evil. Molly, hurry, come on, before he closes again. Thank goodness, Molly, you actually did it. I know, I'm kind of proud of myself right now. Whee! Oh, we're in the bathroom. Good thing, I have to go to potty. Molly! Well, there's no toilet here. I guess you could just go down! Oh, there's the toilet. Good. Ew, Molly! <laughs> Told you I had to go to the bathroom. Whoa, so much lava. You first, Daisy. Oh, sure. Try to melt me in the lava first. Whoa. Who knew this was under the prison? Yes, I actually did part of this obby without dying. Slam the like button, guys, if you think that's amazing. It really is. Whoa. Oh, man, Daisy, that one broke. Shouldn't have eaten so many cupcakes. <laughs> Whee! Yes, I made it again! Ooh, whoa, very dungeony. Here goes nothing. Whee! Whee! Whoa, there's giant boulders down here. Daisy, don't push me out in front of it. What are you thinking? Molly, run fast! Oh, boy. I didn't make it. <laughs> Oopsie. Molly, you're not going to make it. Yes, I am. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Did Daisy make it? Wait, I'm... What? I was in the little hidey spot. Fair. All right, now I'm going to run over here. And whatever you do, stay back. Because if you're even poking your head out just a little bit, you're going to die. Okay, now i got to run again. Oh my god, am I gonna make it? Okay, phew. 
Molly, you're making it! Congratulations! It only took you 700 tries. Whatever, Daisy, I did my best. Ooh, a ladder! Let's get out of here. Oh no, there's Barry again! He's very annoying. <laughs> Molly, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I suggest run! Uh oh. He's coming right at me, Daisy. Holy guacamole! <laughs> Uh, wait, what? What? No! Molly, we have to hurry on that, but we're definitely going to get caught by Barry. He really is very annoying. <laughs> See you later, Barry! Molly, come up the stairs! He can't get up here. He's too chubby. <laughs> I finally made it. I feel so accomplished right now. You did amazing, Molly. That part was really hard. Proud of you, Miles. Thanks, Daisy. Whoa. Whoa. Made it. Don't tell me annoying Barry is there too. No, Molly. Just push that button and see what happens. Whoa. Okay, wait. What's happening up here? It's just a ceiling. Can I go through this? Oh, no. It's not a ceiling. Security training and cafeteria. You know which way I think we should go. Molly. You're always thinking about your stomach. We should definitely go towards security training. Why? I want to get a snack. I'm hungry. Here, drink this drink. That'll give you a good snack. Ah, now I can run super fast. Hooray, Molly, run fast! I'm trying, but oh, this is crazy! Uh-oh, uh-oh. That didn't go so well. I'm still running super fast, though. Oh, I messed up to the same spot again. It's okay. I can do this. Yes. Wee. Wee. Oh boy. Oh my God. No. 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 Don't make me die. Wee. Wee. Oh my gosh. Not more of this. Oh boy. It feels like I'm going in circles. Very fast circles. Whoa! serious right now? That's ridiculous. You don't have a save point anywhere on here? Whoa. Okay, um. Whoa. Okay, I have to remember that I can't actually stop. I don't know you go really fast. You can't actually stop. Oh! I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Come on, Molly, you're at the end! I'm trying, but I'm a little afraid! Dizzy! Molly, good job! Uh. <laughs> Ew, stinky burp. Okay, Molly, I, I know our freedom is right around the corner. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not so sure about that. Just keeps going on and on and on. Storage room, let's try going in here. I need to go in the storage room. I need to get out of here. Hmm, there's a ladder. Hmm, I wonder if I can pick this ladder up. Okay, where do I need to take the ladder now? Ugh. Can't fit through the door. I'm too fat. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's telling me to. Oh, there's a security camera there. Find a ladder. Put it here. Maybe put it here or something. Put it here. Put it here. Okay, okay, let me look up. Oh, yeah, it's definitely put it like right here. Boop. Okay, now I need to make this go away. Daisy, for some reason I can't I can't get rid of this. Like this part right here. Oh wait, there we go. Now how do we get up there? I think you might have to jump, Molly. Oh, I can't jump high enough. Hmm. There's another ladder there. Maybe I can move my ladder over. Just a little bit like this. Hmm. That should be better. Okay, um. Maybe I can climb on here. No. I don't understand what to do! Can't climb up there. What are you carrying now, Daisy? I can't see what she's got. It's like invisible. Here, Daisy, let me just stand on your head. <laughs> That'll make things easier. Molly, I don't think so. Yeah, that works perfectly. Don't, don't move! I need to get up there! Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly, come on. You think that I'm just going to stand there while you step on my head? 
Well, I think it could work possibly because, um, just let me, okay? Daisy! See you later, alligator! Daisy! I need your help, please. Okay, fine, Molly. Stand on my head if you must. Oh, I didn't make it. Hold on. Give me another chance. Just one more chance, Daisy. Okay, one more chance. Go. Ah, I still can't get up there. I'm stuck here forever. Okay, ready? Go. Ah! Finally, I made it. Ay, ay, ay. You messed up my pigtails. <laughs> Woo, air conditioning. So scary. Not really. Well, it's hard, Molly, because it pushes you the wrong way. And there's giant spikes down there, so you have to be very careful. Just jump a lot. That's how I get through these parts. Whoa, whoa. Oh, another ladder. Oh, I can almost taste my freedom now. OMG. You're right, Daisy. We're stuck in here forever. It's a forever type thing. Daisy, you tried to jump faster than me and you killed me. Oopsie. Sorry, Molly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, very funny. Whoa. Whoa, this obby is in insane. I was going to say in cray-cray. <laughs> That's insane and crazy together. Oh, I see. It's like you got to just keep going up the pipes and up the pipes. Oh, I just want to eat a cupcake. Give me a cupcake! Oh, wait, there's another prisoner. Um, What's it say? Close the valves. Oh, seriously? I died. Seriously? Okay, that's all right. It saved there, so I'm good. Okay, I have to close this valve. And then I think I have to go down here. Close this valve. Nobody's waiting for me, but that's fine. I can do it all by myself. I don't need your help. Okay, I gotta close this valve. Oop. Okay, now where do I go? Hello, is anybody there? Marty, come close this one. Okay, here. Wait, did I already close this one? Nope. And that one. Perfect! This seems like a lot of work, Daisy. Like, a lot. Well, you want to escape, don't you? Yeah. More than anything, I just want to know where you went. Oh, there you are. Okay, I think I already did this one. Oh, God, I just died! No! Oh, okay, I'm just stuck here forever. I give up. Molly, don't give up. Look, it saves your progress. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. If I had to close all those valves again, I'd be like, I quit. I'm going to get a donut. <laughs> yeah, I know, Molly. I would be too, I think, actually. You would? Yeah, that's annoying if you had to do it all over again. You would never get a cupcake ever again. You'd be so, like, busy having to do all those valves all again. Yeah, exactly. Well, Daisy, I'm sorry. Did I step on you? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, no. Not more valves we have to close. Whoa! Okay, jump. Jump. Oops. <laughs> I guess I didn't jump in time. Let's try this again. And jump. And jump. And jump. And fall. And jump. Whoa! Oh, man! Come on! Molly, um, you're okay at Abby's, but you're not as good as me. Yeah, no kidding. I want to be as good as my sister at Abby's. I try so hard. Whoa! Whoa! Come on! Molly, you're jumping too soon. All right, okay. I'm just getting a little nervous because, you know, like, I don't want to die. And everybody's waiting for me. Okay, jump. And jump. And jump. Oh, gosh, more? How many more are there of these? There's a lot, Molly, but you got it. You got it. Oh, you died in the last one. <laughs> Molly, this video is going to be 300 minutes long. I think our fans will stick around to the very end, won't you guys? None of you keep dying, they won't, Molly. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I keep dying, everybody. I'm trying really hard. I really am. Ooh, donuts. Molly, focus! Okay, sorry. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! No! Oh, I got turned around. I couldn't see where I was going. We should speed this up. Because I like to win faster. And here we go. Let's speed it up. Finally, 
Molly. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, no, that part was really hard for me. I don't really know why, though. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's this all about? We're going up, Molly. Go up. Um, no, we're going down. I don't know what's happening. Whoa. Oh, I see. We have to go over to this spot. Whoa. <laughs> Wee, that was fun. Okay, next part. Wait, what What just happened? We're in another air duct, Molly. All this game is... Ah, there's a cook. Okay, Molly, we can't get caught by the cook. Ew, we just let out a giant fart. That was gross. Gary the chef. Okay, there's Barry and then there's Gary. Where do we have to go? Oh my god, we run really slow right there. What? He's after me? Oh god, he's throwing food at me. Food Zuka. Um, someone is shooting food at me and it's rude. Okay, Molly, now we're ready. All right, I gotta shoot food at this guy. Oh, why am I running so slow? Oh, because when he shoots food at you, you run really slow. All right, let's take down Gary, the chef. Bam, 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 bam! Take that, Gary, the chef. <laughs> okay, this part of the game is super fun. Um, I'm running really slow. I'm running really slow. Daisy, it looks like you have an invisible gun. I'm not really sure why. I guess it's a glitch in the game. Oh, look, she's back there. That's a better idea. Can he get you back there? Yes! Ah! Gary, Gary, Gary. Okay. Look, we could be friends, right? Uh, no. Molly, well, at least you died in the cafeteria. Your favorite place in the whole world. Okay, yeah, my sister does have a point about that. Ooh, but when you die, when you come back, you still have the food Zuka, which I love. Okay, we have to kill this guy in order to get to the next part. OMG, Daisy, you're leaving me, Daisy! Molly, you've got to get him! You can do it! Come on! I don't think so. He's, he's like, right after me. Oh, my God! He killed me again! Well, Molly, I guess you're stuck in prison forever. What? No, I'm not. I'm going to take him down. I really am. You are rude, Gary, and I'm tired of you. I, for one, have had enough of your sloppy joes. Gary, you make terrible sloppy joes, by the way. Come on, go down, Gary, go down. You gotta go down, Gary, like, seriously. You gotta, you gotta die already, because I'm gonna die and- Ah! Oh, I got Gary to halfway, does that count? Molly, are you ever gonna get out of here? Trying. I don't know, though. Okay, I think if I just get him, like, right here, like, lots of times. Look at, look at all this food I'm throwing at him, that's fun. That's fun. Bye, Gary! Bye, Gary! Yes! <laughs> ah, I just exploded Gary! That was crazy. Come on, Molly, let's go! I can't believe it, you finally got Gary. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Should I take the, um, food Zuka with me? Yeah, you can keep it with you, Molly, if you really want it. I think we might actually be escaping, Daisy. I think so. Whoa! Are we going down the laundry chute? I don't know! Whoa. Molly, I don't think we've escaped yet. Okay, four million hours later, this video might actually be finished. Come on, Molly, this might be the ladder to our freedom. You've said that a lot of times. I'm not really sure that our freedom is ever coming. Exit, it says! Exit! Exit to another part? I don't get it. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, there's lasers. How am I supposed to get between the lasers? I don't know. This is kind of creepy. Oh yeah, I died. I died. Totally died on this part. How do you get past this part? This is really hard. I don't know. I guess you have to time it like perfectly or something. Like, okay. That doesn't make any sense. You can't control that. How are you going to get through there? Oh, maybe you can move. Can you move? Can you move yourself? Oh, yeah. I think you can kind of move. Whoa. I'm, I'm actually just, like, hanging out at the side because I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I'm almost through it, though. Oh, my God. I actually made it. Wait, what? What? Can I? Can I? Oh, gosh. Maddie, over here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yes. I made it. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, the prison cell is open. 
use the metal planks to get across or climb the ladder. I'm gonna climb the ladder. Are we to freedom yet, Daisy? Are we to freedom yet? No, Molly, all we have to do is put these planks in and I think we will be. Oh, my sister is so positive and optimistic. I think, I think it's a bad time to tell her that we're never gonna be able to leave. Okay, use metal planks to get across. Where do they go, Daisy? I'm confused. Can I set them down, like, right here? Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Okay, I'll go get my more metal planks. When can we ever leave this prison? There's only three, though, so I guess it won't take too long. Okay, then you gotta go across this one. And let's see, where should I put it down? Oh, yeah, right here. Put it down there. Uh-oh. That didn't work out like it helped. Oh, no, Molly! I hope there's another plank for you. There isn't! Daisy! Uh, Molly, uh, yeah. I think you messed it up. Oh, man! Do I need all three planks? Sort of, Molly! Oh, man. Okay, well, um, maybe I can pick this up and use it again. Ha ha ha! I'm so smart. Yes! Good job, Molly. You used your smarts. Now let's get out of here. Uh, Daisy? Shoot the arms? What? Yeah, uh, apparently, uh, Barry has gone insane. Barry's mechanical robot. I only have the food zoo gone. How is that gonna help? Well, Molly, um, it probably won't, but I mean, it's the best you've got. Oh my gosh, he's shooting fire at me. Go down, Barry! Oh no, I died. Well, Molly, uh, you tried your best. Wait, what? I'm back to where my planks are? Daisy, I'm just gonna go to the cafeteria and eat a cupcake. Really, Molly, you give up? Yep, I'm a prisoner for life. Hey guys, we've hidden a candy cane in this video. The first one to find the candy cane and comment below the time you found it gets a special message from me in the comment section below. That's right, guys. Make sure you find the candy cane and tell us in the comment section below the time you found it at. And now, it's time for another video. No, no, Santa. T -t Don't put me on your naughty list. I, I swear, I I'll do my homework next year. I, I will, as soon as school starts again. No, no, no. No, I, I, I don't want to go on the naughty list. No! Wait, all I get is reindeer poop? Oh, that's gross. Huh, what? Oh, too early. Buddy, oh, turn off that alarm clock. Hit snooze. I need another 15 minutes. Oh, I would fall back asleep, but my stomach is growling. Must be all that um crazy dreaming I was doing. Oh, hopefully Santa doesn't put me on the naughty list in real life. I hope my mom made pancakes this morning. Although it usually smells like waffles or pancakes or something. And I don't smell anything in the house this morning. Ah, look at our Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. Mom, I'm awake. I'm time for a change. Well, that's because my stomach woke me up. Mom? Mom? Oh, maybe she's doing the laundry. Mom? Where's my mom? Oh my gosh, maybe she's sick. Oh no, I better go check on her. Mom? 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 Mom, you overslept! What are you doing? We need pancakes or waffles or something for breakfast! Huh, what? Oh, Molly, go away. I need another hour's sleep. Mom, get, get out of bed! Oh my gosh. My mom has officially quit as being my mom. She, she's, she's quit her job! Mom, you can't. Please, there's only one mom like you. Oh, I just quit for the next hour, Molly. Oh, I'm still so tired. I wake up early every day. And besides, oh, it's a snow day. Wait, what? What'd you just say? It's a snow day. I saw it this morning on the news. Whoa, a snow day? Why didn't you say so? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Gonna do a little dance. Molly, 
Couldn't you do your happy dance? Ugh, somewhere else. No, Mom, I'm so excited. <laughs> wee, wee. Well, I guess there's no extra rest for a mom. What do you want for breakfast? Well, I'm so glad you're awake, Mom. Because <laughs> I'll have pancakes. Oh, all right. Ugh. Wow, look at it outside. It looks magical. And I can see the town Christmas tree from here. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. Mostly because I get out of school. <laughs> Daisy, wake up. You're late for school. What? Late for school? Are you serious? Yeah, the bus went by like 30 minutes ago. Oh my God, I'm going to get detention. I can't believe it. Why don't you come wake me back up? <laughs> you better hurry up. Go brush your teeth. Get dressed wicked fast. Oh my God, oh my God. Wait a minute. Why are you still here? I'm always late for school, duh. Yeah, good point. Oh, no. My my entire high school career is ruined. <laughs> I love pranking my sister. Oh, more coffee. More coffee. Mom, look at my pajamas. They're very festive. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Oh, so what are you going to do on your day off? Um, I don't know. Probably play out in the snow. Um... Ride the new snowmobiles. Ooh, that sounds fun. Uh, well, we should wait for your sister. She'll probably be up soon. Uh, something tells me she'll be down in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, let's see what's on TV. Breaking news, breaking news. There is a three-car pileup on Main Street due to all the snow. If you can stay home, please stay home. Yeah, yeah, same old, same old every year. Don't go out. Guess what? I've got no plans. Ah, okay, it's time for school, it's time for school, it's time for school. Molly, come on, come on, come on. Mm, Daisy, why are you running around like crazy? I'm late for school, Mom, I love you. Don't worry about my lunch, I'll just starve because I don't want to be late for school and wait for it. There's no school today. There's no school today. There's no school today. Wait, what? It's a snow day, didn't Molly tell you? What? No, she didn't tell me it was a s- Molly, you pranked me. <laughs> Perfect day. Well, girls, I don't know about perfect. I just heard on the news that, well, we might not even be able to get out of our houses. What? Yep, we might be snowed in for the entire blizzard, 24 hours. Well, better get out there and get the snowmobile running now. Molly, I'm not done with you. Seriously, this was not okay. Yep, sure, whatever. La, 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 la. Perfect way to have no school. First, no school. Second, no school. Third, prank my sister. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Um, uh, Molly, do you think that that really matches? Well, my pants match yours. Does that count? Okay, Molly. Well, I guess you look pretty cute. Pretty cute? I look totally cute. Look at my sweater. It's adorable. It's got Santa all over it. I'm trying to get some brownie points with him because everybody knows I'm very naughty. Yes, we all know this, Molly. Just do your homework and you wouldn't have to worry about it. Nah! <laughs> okay, Mom, see you later! Whoa! They weren't kidding about this blizzard! Wow, this is insane! Okay, well, time to take out my snowmobile. Where's Daisy? Oh, well, she's probably still irritated that I pranked her. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I haven't really learned how to drive this thing yet, but, you know, who cares? Whee! Molly, don't go too far from the house. There's a blizzard. Nah, never, Mom. Never. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to go off the hill. Whoa. <laughs> that was so fun. Ooh, there's my school. Too bad I'm not going to see you today, school. <laughs> That's what I think of you, school. <laughs> oh, look at the Christmas tree out in front of the daycare center. That looks beautiful. La, 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 la. Ow, I ran into something. Wow, I hope I can get home. Snow keeps getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Wow, look at the Christmas tree, though. It's beautiful. Well, um, let's see if the pool is frozen over. Oh, nope, nope, it's not. Oh, man, I just crashed my snowmobile. Um, now I'm going to have to try to walk home in this. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Mom? Mom? I'm going to have to call her. Maybe she'll give me a ride. Ho, 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 ho. <clears throat> I bead. Ho, 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 ho. Santa? I know him. Well, sort of. Santa? Oh, my gosh. Is that you for real? Ho, ho, ho. Of course it's me. Now, 
What are you doing out at this blizzard? Um, I'm enjoying my day off from school, Santa. How are you? <laughs> I'm on your good list, right? No, you're not on the nice list. What? All you're getting this year was reindeer poop. But Santa, I can explain. Can I have a ride home, too? Of course you could. But, like I said, reindeer poop. I've been collecting it all year just for you. How do you collect the reindeer poop? In little plastic bags. Wow, you sound a little bit like, I don't know, never mind. Santa, I'm sorry. I I I'll do my homework better. Oh, you're not on the naughty list for that. You're on the naughty list for pranking your sister. You really should be nicer to her. Santa, seriously? I'm very serious. And stay in your house, too. Santa, no, I can explain. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, you little brat. Oh, no. Santa, Santa, the Santa doesn't love me. Mom! <laughs> Mom! Mom! Mom? I'm still here doing the dishes while you're out having fun. <laughs> That's what it's like to be an adult at Christmas time. Oh, well, I'm glad it's your job and not mine. <laughs> one day, Molly, one day. Now, what's the problem? <laughs> Molly, you have to calm down so I can understand what you're saying. <laughs> Santa gave me a ride home. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, he did, Mom. He said I was going on the naughty list and I was only getting reindeer poop, but he's been collecting it in plastic bags. Oh, my. That doesn't sound right. Are you sure it was actually Santa? It looked just like Santa and it said, ho, oh, oh. ho. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is it? I think one of the reindeer was fake. I think it was actually a dog. What? Yeah, but Santa was real. I'm on the naughty list. Ah! Ho, ho, ho. You're on the naughty list. Daisy? Wait, you were pretending to be Santa? That's right. You fell for it. Don't prank me again, Molly. Daisy, I'm going to get you. Molly, don't chase me. Girls, try to get along. We're stuck in this house for 24 hours till this blizzard pass. Passes. I can't even talk. You guys are driving me crazy. I'm going on vacation. And by vacation, I mean I'm going to hide in the bathroom and lock the door and eat chocolate bars until 24 hours is over. <laughs> oh, Mom. You're the best. Oh. Well, looks like baby Kira's up. I'll get her, Mom. Good morning, baby Kira. Why are you crying? Oh, wait. That's right. You're like three years old. You cry about everything and nothing all at the same time. I go outside and make a snow angel. Aw, I'll take you outside and make a snow angel. Come on, let's go. Like this, baby Kara, like this. Ooh, wait, the snow cold. Yeah, the snow is cold. <laughs> but it means you get out of going to daycare today. Ooh, I like it. Yes, exactly, baby Kara. Exactly. And the snow doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I keep eating these donuts, but I never feel full. Oh, oh. Dan, are you okay? Um, well, not really. I, I'm just freaking out. Why? Why? Mm, this leftover pizza is delicious. Can you stop eating for one second? Tell that to the baby. The baby keeps telling me you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. At one o'clock in the morning, at three o'clock in the morning, at five in the morning, I'm getting up all night long to eat the weirdest things like peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Ew, gross. I know, right? So what are you stressed about, Dan? You could tell me while I'm eating this donut. Well, the nursery isn't built yet. I mean, I've been working on it really hard, but the crib's not quite done yet because I accidentally put it together wrong and it fell apart. Oopsie. Oh, Dan, seriously? Sorry, I've never put together a crib before. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. But it's almost time for the baby and, and, and I'm freaking out now. Everything's done. Uh, Dan? Correction. It's not almost time for the baby. It's time right now! Wait, what? Oh. Dan, wake up! I need another donut. And also, a ride to the hospital. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a dad soon! Okay, don't panic, don't panic. I'm not panicking, Dan. You are. Okay, I'm telling myself not to panic. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic! <sighs> I may not have the crib built, 
but I did have our overnight bag packed. Oh, wow, Dan, you're so prepared. All I've done today is eat a box of donuts and an entire thing of pizza. Oh, don't worry. After the baby comes, you probably won't be as hungry. Jeepers, I hope so. I bet this bus will be big enough to fit all the baby gear in. <laughs> Plus, it's extremely safe, and it doesn't have a lot of bumps when you drive it. What are you... Did you seriously just charter a bus? Yeah, I want to make sure we can fit all of our baby gear inside. Dan, we don't need that much baby gear. Come on, Laura! You don't want to have the baby right here in the street, do you? Well, not really. Come on, get inside. Buckle your seatbelt. Here goes nothing. Dan, make sure you're driving safe. Dan, slow down. We're here. Okay, Laura, just take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm trying. Laura, everything's going to be okay, I promise. I think. Here, I've got a stretcher. Hop on. Dan, I hope you can drive this stretcher better than you can drive that giant bus. Excuse me. Excuse me. My, 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 my wife needs your help. Uh, okay. What can I do for you? She's... She's about to have a, a puppy! A puppy? Dan, are you feeling okay? I mean, a b -b -b baby! Oh, I was gonna say, if she was having a puppy, she'd need to go to the veterinarian. <laughs> I don't deliver puppies here. He's he's just losing his mind right now, doctor. I'm having a baby, not a puppy. Okay, why don't you go into exam room one and get comfortable? Really? Get comfortable? But isn't the baby gonna come right now? Um, by the look of your wife, she has about 30 minutes. Oh, okay. 30 minutes, yeah. Oh, everything should be fine. Dan, deep breaths. Oh no, here comes a first time dad. They're always the crazy ones. How are you feeling, Laura? I feel like I got run over by that bus. Ah! How are we feeling, Laura? Everyone keeps asking me that, and I just want to tell you... Not good! I want my baby out! Okay, well, let's take an ultrasound and make sure everything is going along smoothly, okay? Okay. <sighs> I can breathe, right? I can breathe. I hope you can, because if you can't, well, that would be bad. You'd die. Oh my gosh, don't tell me that, doctor! Laura, now you're freaking out. Just try to relax. How can I relax? I'm having a baby! It's going to be a wonderful time in your life, Laura. Now, okay, let's get you over to the exam room so we can do our ultrasound. I've had an ultrasound every single month of my pregnancy, so I know my baby's going to be healthy. And it's a girl! Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> a little girls are the cutest! Well, little boys are cute, too. I've delivered thousands of babies. Whoa, I've never seen this before. I I've delivered... Uh, a thousand babies, and, 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 and th 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 this is, this is beyond me. I, I, I've never ever seen this before. Seen what, Doctor? This, this seems crazy to me. Oh my gosh, it's actually a boy instead of a girl, isn't it? Oh, this could be awesome. No, it's still a girl, right? Um, guys, it's still a girl, but it has, well, wings. Wings? Did you just say wings? Oh! Well, you didn't actually just say wings, did you? Um, yeah, I did. Your baby is a fairy or an angel or something. Oh my gosh! I, I can't believe this. Dan, wake up! Oh what? No, I can't. Too much craziness. Too much craziness. Laura, you're doing great. Your baby is almost here. Yay! I can't wait to meet my baby! This is the most amazing day ever! I'm gonna name her Molly. Oh, I love that name! Here she is! I'm just gonna wrap her up and her wings inside this blanket so they don't get cold. Seriously? She really does have wings? Yup, she sure does. Oh my gosh, is she a fairy or an angel? She's definitely a sweet little angel. Hi, sweet little baby. I'm your mommy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, CBS. I would like to report that I just helped a woman give birth to a baby angel. I'd love to be That's right. On the First one in Brookhaven history. On the I'd love to be on the TV program tonight. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. Seven o'clock's great. Thanks. Okay. Well, your baby's very healthy. See, uh, I gotta go be on the news. What? Yeah. 
First time I've ever delivered an angel baby. I'm gonna be famous. She's gotta be the sweetest baby on the entire planet. Well, she is definitely the most unique. Dan, come over here and see your daughter. I'm a little nervous. I'm a dad. Yeah, but she's beautiful. Wow, she really is. Aww, let's take her home. Great idea, Dan. We're a family now. Daddy! Daddy, what are you doing? Oh, I have to work two jobs just to pay for all the toddler stuff. Daddy, you're the best daddy in the world. Oh, thank you, baby angel Molly. Oh, I work so hard. Dad, don't, don't be stressed, Dad. Everything be okay. Oh, you're a sweet girl. I, I try be. <laughs> mama, 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 mama. Oh, hi, baby Molly. Oh, I'm just really tired right now, honey. What is it that you need? I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Okay, well, dinner, dinner will be ready in like an hour. It took me a really long time to prepare it. In the meantime, while that's in the oven, I'm going to go pay some bills. Hopefully we have enough in our bank account. We've been short almost every, every month, despite your dad and I working so much overtime. Oh, Mama, no worries, no worries, Mama. Oh, little Molly, you're so sweet. Yeah, I'm sweet. I know, you're an angel. Hmm, I am an angel. Okay, I do something nice. There, I use my angel power to make Dino. Mom, Dino's ready. What? Oh my gosh, I don't want to have a million dollars in the bank. I make a million dollars for you. What? Baby Angel, you, you put a million dollars in our bank account? And I bake dinner real fast because I know everyone's hungry. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Dada, wake up, wake up. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, you are amazing. I could get used to this. Oh, baby angel, that was so sweet of you. I had turkey and stuffing like Thanksgiving. Oh, such a sweet girl. Wow, my first day of school. I can't believe it. I'm actually in kindergarten finally. This is super exciting. Hi, I I I'm Molly. Oh, great. It's a kindergartner. What do you want? Um, to be friends? Duh. A second grader cannot be friends with a kindergartner. And what's up with those giant wings? It's not Halloween. <laughs> they're ugly. What? No, they're not. They're my wings. I, I, I was born with them. My parents told me they're beautiful. Well, your parents totally lied. I think they're weird. Really? They are? Yeah, totally. And don't talk to me anymore because you're a kindergartner, so I cannot be seen with you or I'll look like a total loser. Wait, wait. We could be friends. Stop following me, loser. No, seriously. We, we could be friends. Hold on. I, I have magic. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, now I'm interested. What can you do for me, kindergartner? Um, well, maybe this would make you less grumpy. Wh what? What's on my back? It's an adorable little bear backpack, and it's full of super cute school supplies, like pencils with little cute erasers on the top that are in the shapes of, like, animals, and it even has a laptop inside. Seriously? You did that for me? Yeah. Do you feel happy now? Actually, yeah. I kind of do. Awesome. Do you think we can be friends? Uh, I don't know about all that, but you did make me feel pretty happy. Cool! And by the way, I think your wings are really beautiful. I was just saying that to be mean. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for being honest. No problem. Sorry I was rude to you. Awesome! Thank you! Wow, I totally tur turned the bully's heart around. She's not a bully anymore. She's just really nice. Hey guys, what's up? It's Angel Molly, and I'm making a super amazing TikTok for you today. 
Who just drove their motorcycle by so loud? Oh, that's so rude. I can't even make a TikTok now. Hey, what's up? Um, what's up is that I am trying to make a TikTok and... Wait a minute. Are you a demon? Are you an angel? Ugh. Ugh, yuck, a demon. Ugh, yuck, an angel. Except for the fact that you're, like, really pretty. Yeah, well, so what? You're a demon. Get away from me. Wait a minute. Are you the girl that makes all those amazing TikToks? You're, like, super smart and funny and stuff. What's your name, Molly? Yeah, that's me. You're a fan of my TikToks? Yeah, they're amazing. Wow, thanks. That's nice of you to say. No problem. You know, demons aren't all bad. Um, I beg to differ. How about you come to the ice cream shop with me, and I'll show you how demons can actually be nice. Well, I don't know. Come on, give me a chance. All right, fine. What's your name? My name's Luke. Hop on my motorcycle. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Nah, it's gonna be so fun. Whee! <laughs> my wings are blowing in the breeze! Ow, you ran into that plant. Sorry, I'm still learning how to drive this thing. I noticed. So, uh, what's your favorite ice cream? I'll get you anything you want. Are you gonna steal it because you're a demon? No, but can you stop hitting me with your wings? They're huge! Well, you have wings too! Yeah, but my wings are really small. Yours keep smacking me in the head. Sorry, I can't help it. They're attached to me and, and basically they go where I go. Yeah, I know what you mean. My wings, even though they're small, it's just like sometimes they get caught in my backpack and they get caught when I'm closing a door. Yeah, that's so annoying, right? Yeah, totally. So what kind of ice cream do you want? Mint chip is my favorite, but I think I'm going to get bubble gum. Whoa! You're loaded! You have a ton of money! Yeah, I got a summer job. Doing what? Robbing banks? What? No, I'm actually working at the bank, making real money. Wow, you must be really smart. Yeah, almost as smart as you. I've seen your TikToks. Aw, thanks. Mmm, this is delicious. I hate to admit this, but I kind of think you're cool. Really? Do you think I'm handsome, too? Um... Let's not even go there. So that's a yes. <laughs> Are you going to eat an ice cream? Yup, chocolate. Mm, I like chocolate. I actually like all ice cream. Something told me that you might. <laughs> mm, this is so good. Well, thanks for the ice cream. Hey, um, if you're not busy, tomorrow night, do you uh, want to go on a date with me? Date with a demon? Uh. Oh, come on. Well, I guess I could. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell Luke the news. We've only been married two years now, though. Like, are we ready for this? Well, I'm at his job, so here goes nothing. Luke? Uh, are you here? Molly, what are you doing here, wife? Well, husband, um... I have some news. Uh, what is it? I... I... I'm gonna have a baby! What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, this is... Amazing! Really? Oh, Luke! You didn't have to pass out! It's okay! I'm just so excited! Me too, Luke. Me too. This is gonna be so amazing! I can't agree more, Molly. I think we're gonna be great parents, even though, well, you're an angel and I'm a demon. I know, but we love each other, so we're going to make the perfect family. Is it, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Oh my gosh, a son. But more importantly, is it an angel or, or a demon? Actually, it's just a regular human baby. Wait, what? How did that happen? I don't know, but Luke... Maybe because I'm an angel and you're a demon. Wow, this is amazing. Can I hold my baby? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, he has my eyes. He has my smile. He's perfect. 
Congratulations, Angel Mommy and Demon Daddy. You have a perfectly healthy little boy. What are you going to name him? Um, I don't know. What, what about? I don't know. What do you think? Lucas sounds pretty good to me. Wow, I love that name. Hi, Lucas. Molly, I got here as soon as I could. Are you okay? Well, I don't think so. Not this time, Luke. What? Why? It's almost my time to leave this earth. What? No, you're an angel. You have to live forever. No, not even angels live forever, Luke. I've loved you forever. Even though you're missing half your teeth now, you're so old. I still love you. And I still think you're the most beautiful angel on the planet. Oh, thank you, Luke. Ugh, these old bones, though, they're ready to give up. No, don't say that, Molly. Don't, don't say that. Molly? Molly? Goodbye, Luke. our son, but I'm just, I can't live without you. You're my other half. Luke, Luke, Luke. M Molly, I I is that you? Ah, it is you. You look so young and different. What is this? Is this a hallucination? No, Luke. <laughs> Angels only change form when they die. Duh. <laughs> Just because we lost our human bodies doesn't mean that we're not still angels. I'll be your guardian angel now. Seriously? Yep, pretty much gonna follow you everywhere you go. And remind you to wash your socks and do the dishes. So you're like an annoying wife guardian angel. Exactly. Until you die, demon. And then we can be together forever again. Oh, I'm so glad you're my guardian angel. I didn't know what I would do without you. Me either, Luke. Me either. Molly, I thought you said this was a good toy store. Why are the nights all out? Um, I don't know. Uh, my friend Sarah was just telling me about this. She said it was amazing here. Molly, your friend Sarah? Sarah's not anybody's friend. She's a bully. Um, yeah, but I thought she'd tell me about a great toy store. Of course she wouldn't. She would try to prank you, Molly. Um, well, all we have to do is just leave. Wait a minute. The door won't open. Daisy, the door won't open. We're locked in. Molly, this place is giving me the creeps. It doesn't look like a toy store. It looks kind of like a warehouse. Yeah, for Chucky dolls and a lot of them. Wow. Molly, I don't know about this. Look at this place. Wow, there's a lot of Chucky dolls here. We could probably sell these on eBay for a lot of money. Molly. Um, ah! Ah, giant Chucky doll down here, Daisy. Don't come down here. What? What is I can't hear you, Molly. What'd you say? I said, <laughs> Daisy, there's a giant Chucky doll down there. And it's alive. And it's trying to kill us. What? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Molly. Cheapus, you have such an active imagination. I'm not kidding. Whoa, look at that Chucky doll. They didn't sew his hair on right. He looks weird. <laughs> Molly, don't be making fun of this silly Chucky doll. Maybe he's at the island of misfit toys. Maybe. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, I fell down here. And there's a giant scary Chucky doll. And I have to get out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Molly, what are you talking about anyway? You don't, you don't believe me. I know you don't. But come here, Daisy. I'm going to show you something. Fine, Molly. But you better not be pranking me. He's right there. Molly, they've got pizza here. Daisy, pizza? Who can think about that? Okay, yeah, I want some pizza too. Mmm, it's delicious, right, Molly? Okay, yeah, but look, Daisy, where are you going? Daisy, come back here. I need to show you the giant chunky. Molly, if we're going to be stuck here for the night, you got to stop trying to freak me out. I need some pizza. It's delicious. Uh, Daisy, all you have to do is go right here and look down. Okay, if you say so. <coughs> Whoa, what's that? It looks like a gi 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 giant Chucky doll. Yeah, no kidding. Make a run for it. I think we can go through here. Oh, my gosh. 
gosh, oh my gosh, don't let him get me. Okay, I think if I hide inside these Chucky doll boxes right here, the giant scary evil Chucky that came to life won't get me. Ah! Okay, that's just a picture of one. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on? There's boxes moving. Daisy, is that you? Daisy? No, by my heel. Ah! Daisy! Oh, you scared me. Molly, he's smashing through the wall and he's got a giant knife. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. What are we gonna do? Ah, uh, we could eat more pizza. Molly, not the point! Ah, uh, Daisy. Ah! Daisy, I'm back! I'm here to help you! Molly, I think there's only one thing we can do. We have to take the giant Chucky down! With what? An apple pie? Well, no, that was just a snack ahead of time. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I want one too. <laughs> Look at it, it's like a vending machine! Give me the apple pie! Yeah, Molly, now maybe we should get some, like, weapons and stuff. If we're gonna be stuck here with this guy, he's going down. Okay, let's see. Um, there's a lot of different choices here. Magic potion. Oh, we could try to kill him with a drum set. What? What's that gonna do? ay ay ay. Okay, um, no, no, no. What's this, a ray gun? Oh, you have a snapple pie, Molly. Okay, well, I'm trying to get the ray gun. Duh. Here we go. All right, let's see. Let me try it on you, Daisy. Molly! <laughs> okay, Molly. I have Thor's hammer. I'm ready to go. I think that might be a cheap knockoff. I wouldn't try that. Molly! Okay, if we go down on the stairs. Oh, look. He can't get out, Daisy. He can't get out. <laughs> boing. Boing. Okay, Mike. Oh, God. He's trying to come up here. Oh, he can come up here! Daisy, he can come up here! Um, This mission is over, Daisy. Ah! He's gonna kill me. Yep, he's gonna kill me. Molly, what are you doing? I'm trying to get away, duh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I can run super fast. Ah! He snapped at me and killed me. Ah! Molly, get a different gun this time. Seriously, we're never gonna get out of this toy store alive. Okay, guns are helpful. Um, What's this, like a rocket launcher or something? I'm gonna go pick this up and see what this is. Oh, <laughs> it's a bomb. All right, Chucky. All right, you wanna play? Let's see. <laughs> oh, Chucky, where are you? Didn't mean to fall down like that, but I did. He's hiding under the stairs. He knows that I've got these bombs. Come on, Chucky, I dare ya. What? Is there only one bomb in there? Molly, you're standing on the edge. I'd be very careful if I were you. Come on, Chucky. This is reloading. Okay, there we go. And nothing happened. Daisy, try to use your magic wand. What are you, Elsa? Let it go, Chucky. Let it go. You're super grumpy. Let it go. <laughs> Whoa, Daisy's like making like a... An impenetrable wall. That's great, Daisy. Let's try not to die now. Here he comes, Daisy! Oh, God, he looks so evil. Look at his face. He can't get through this, Molly. Uh, Daisy, he walked right through it. What? This is a cheap one. This is, this is a real. Uh, no, I could have told you that, Daisy. Could have told you that. You were stuck with the weapons we chose, and oh, my God, here comes Chucky. Bob, Bob, go off. Oh. It didn't work. I died. Molly, we're stuck here forever. Yeah, we might be. <laughs> Molly, Molly, where are you? <laughs> Molly, wh why are you laughing creepy like that? Come out here in the light where I can see you. What's going on? <laughs> Molly, why do you look like, like, like Chucky? Because, Daisy, if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> Sit here and do absolutely nothing. Hey, Molly, what's up? Oh, Brookie, I didn't know you were gonna be around today. Yeah, I thought maybe we could hang out. Do you want to? Yeah, sure, I'll hang out. Let's ride bikes. Nah, I'm feeling really lazy today. I don't wanna ride bikes. Oh, um, 
but I rode my bike here because I thought it would be really fun. It is like 90 degrees outside today. I am not riding bikes. Too hot! Oh, we could always go swimming in your pool. Yeah, that would be amazing, except for my dad just refilled it and the water's freezing. I don't mind cold water. Well, you would mind this. It's shocking! Come on in, Brookie. Oh, hi, Brookie. I'm just watching adult book pig videos on YouTube. Oh, hey, DZ. I just came to hang out because it's summer vacay and it's boring at my house. Well, it's not really boring here because we have tons of snacks. Molly, do you want to watch a movie in the air conditioning? Nah, I don't want to watch a movie. Marley, not to be rude or anything, but I've been noticing something. Every time Brookie comes over to our house, you never want to do what she wants to do. What? That's, that's not true. Look, we're doing what she wants to do right now, right? Just chill on the couch. Actually, Molly, I don't want to just lay here on the couch for my summer vacay. I wanted to ride bikes or go swimming or, or watch a good movie or something. Yeah, Molly, you're just nothing but a lazy bum all summer. Hey, that's rude! I can't believe my best friend and my sister would say something so mean. Well, Molly, if the shoe fits, wear it, diva. Me? A diva? I don't think so. Um, Molly, you're wearing your sunglasses inside. That kind of makes you a diva. Um, I just want to be fashionable. Cool, you know? Diva, diva, diva. If you don't stop calling me a diva, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Guys, stop fighting. It's really frustrating that you guys fight all the time. I come over here to hang out with you guys and have fun and, well... <sighs> Molly, I have to tell you something. Okay, what is it? If you can't ever want to do anything I want to do, and it's just always about you, 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 then I don't know if we can be friends anymore. What? You would give up being my best friend? Well, you're not much of a best friend if all you ever do is be selfish, Molly. I'm not selfish. I mean, well, I guess I am kind of selfish. And also, summer vacation's not really fun when all you want to do is sit around and eat Doritos. Yeah, Molly, so what's it going to be? Hum, hum, well, <laughs> I'll do whatever you want for 24 hours. And I'll see if I like the things you decide to do. Seriously? You'll give me 24 hours to do whatever we want? That sounds amazing! Uh, okay, well... I don't know how it could be more amazing than just chilling out on the couch and eating Doritos, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, Bookie, can I see you over here? I want to talk to you about something. Hey, no secrets! Molly, I'm just going to talk to Bookie only. What did you want to tell me, Daisy? Molly is being such a selfish brat. I wouldn't blame you at all if you wanted to do things like have her take a mud bath, dress up like a giant banana for the whole town to see. <laughs> you know, mud stuff like that. Why would I be so mean, Daisy? It's not mean. It's just testing to see if she really will do whatever you want or if she's still the selfish person we think she is. Well, you do have a point. Um, well, there's only one way to find out. Quit whispering! I know it's about me! Um, well, um, okay, Molly. Well, you said I'd, you would do whatever I wanted to do for 24 hours. Yeah, so quit whispering and tell me! First, I want you to turn your phone upside down and be so ridiculously happy! I don't know if that's humanly possible. You just really irritated me. Molly, you promised our friendship is on the line. Ugh, okay. I'm so ridiculously happy! <laughs> Look at me! Happy, 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 happy! How's that? Whoa, that's a little creepy. I'm not used to seeing you like that, Molly. <laughs> I'm gonna go back on my computer. Have fun, you two! Okay, so what's the first thing we're gonna do? First, you're gonna dress like a giant banana and wave to everybody in town. Wait, what? Yeah, doesn't that sound like fun? I think it'll be hilarious. Everyone will be so cheered up by your banana costume. You aren't serious right now, right? Totally I am. Are you going to do it? Our friendship is on the line. Oh, I guess. I mean, I don't want to lose my friend. Well, how do I look? <laughs> like a giant banana. <laughs> See, you're already making me super happy. 
Oh, Blair, feel ridiculous. Oh, yeah, this is YouTube gold. Molly, say hi. Turn that camera off. I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm just running out of here. Running out of here. Molly, you know what would make this so much more amusing to everybody driving by? Ugh, I'm already dressed like a banana. What else do you want from me? You should do a little banana dance and sing a song. I don't know any banana songs. Um, think of one, Molly. Our friendship is on the line. I know. You keep saying that. I'm a little banana, buh, buh, banana. I'm a little banana, buh, buh, banana. OMG. <laughs> is that Molly dressed up like a banana dancing? I'm a little banana, buh, buh, banana. I'm a little banana, buh, buh, banana. Um, uh, Molly, don't look now, but, um... Sarah's here. Sarah! I'm like, Waka Molly, how embarrassing! She's the biggest school bully in the world. I'll never hear the end of this. <laughs> what are you doing? Working for a banana farm or something? You look ridiculous. I'm trying to keep my best friend happy. I am happy. I'm so happy. Well, see you later, losers and the banana. <laughs> loser banana, that's what I meant. You're a loser banana! Whoa, that was just rude. What? The police? Seriously? Excuse me, do you have a permit? A permit? A permit for what? A permit to be a banana dancing on this street. Uh, are you serious right now? You don't need to be a, a, a permit to be a banana. Actually, you do. In the town of Brookhaven, you can only be a banana on the street dancing if you have a permit. Oh boy, Molly. I think you just got a really big ticket. $500? $500? Are you kidding me? Are you talking back to me right now? Because I could make that ticket 600 banana. No, I'll just pay it. All of my life savings goes to being your friend now, Brookie. I hope you're happy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Molly. Maybe we should do something more fun than, um, than humiliating me as a banana on the street. Yeah, definitely that. Come on, let's go back to your house and we'll do something actually fun. Fun sounds like sitting on the couch and eating Doritos. No, Molly, something actually fun, like riding a bike or something. Ugh, fine, as long as I can take this banana suit off, I'm sweating. Okay, let's ride bikes. Okay, if that's what you wanna do, but this zipper seems to be stuck on this banana costume. Can you help me out of it? Sure, let me just see if I can get the zipper. Uh-oh, Molly, I can't get the zipper either. What? I'm stuck in this banana costume? Well, let me go see if I can get some scissors out of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'll have to cut myself out of this banana costume. Um, uh, Molly, the banana costume's rented. You can't cut it or it'll cost us $500. Really? I don't have another $500. I have this ticket for being a banana. Now I'm gonna get a, uh... I'm gonna have to buy this banana costume? Oh my gosh, this is the most ridiculous day ever. And everybody wonders why I wanna be in charge of what we do. Well, um, um, maybe we could just like put some butter on you and you could slide out of it. Oh, I hate my life right now. I hate my life right now! Please have butter, please have butter. Oh my God, we're out of butter! Oh no, how am I ever gonna get out of this banana costume? Well, I do have this leftover popcorn from the movies last night. That's pretty buttery. We could probably just smear the popcorn all over you and you could slide right out. Oh my gosh! Have I said I hated my life today? Have I said it? Molly, don't eat the popcorn. We need that for the butter. I'm just hungry. I need something to eat and I'm stressed out. Sometimes I stress eat. Oh yeah, yeah, Molly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna rub all this popcorn all over me and and ah thank goodness i'm out of the banana costume now come on let's go ride bikes i want to go lay on the couch that was the worst day ever why are you making me dress like a banana anyway it was just rude and i didn't like it it wasn't even fun molly you promised for 24 hours and okay i admit the banana idea was daisy's wait what yeah, she wanted to see if you were actually going to do things for me because she said you're very selfish. Well, are you happy now? Are you satisfied? I had to rub popcorn butter all over me. And I got a $500 ticket. 
yes, Molly. Now we're just going to go have real fun together. Ugh, I don't want to, but I guess because you're still my best friend and I don't want to lose you as my friend. All right, come on. It's going to be fun, Molly. Now, come on. Put a smile on. You're, you're pushing me too far, Brookie. I don't want to put a smile on. No smile ever. Whoa, Molly, your bike is so cool. I've never seen it before. That's because I hardly ever come out to ride my bike. Oh, no, there's a police officer. Okay, I'm going downtown because I definitely do not need to get another ticket for something. Whee! Okay, I have to admit, this is actually kind of fun. I told you, Molly, I knew you were going to love it. Well, don't let it go to your head. I'm sure I'll be tired soon enough and want to go home and just eat Doritos. Um, well, we could go swimming if you want. We could go back and go to the um, pool or something. Um, yeah, why not? It's your 24 hours. As long as I don't have to go as a giant banana. Ugh, it's pretty hot. That water looks really refreshing. We don't have our bathing suits, Molly. Oh, yeah, that's true. We should probably just go home. Nonsense! We'll just jump in right with our, our regular clothes on. It'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, you go up the diving board and I'll go down the slide. Okay. <laughs> Whatever she wants for 24 hours, I have to say yes. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, MG, that was so much fun. <laughs> attention, attention, girl in the pool. What? Who's that? Oh, no. Not the police again. Don't worry, Molly. You're not dancing and singing on the street as a banana anymore. I'm sure you can't get in trouble for not having a permit. Hi, officer. What's going on? What's going on is that you're in the community pool without proper attire. What? It's not like I'm swimming naked or something. I've got my clothes on. I know, but you're going to clog up all the filters in the community pool by wearing your shoes and clothes in. You're supposed to be wearing a bathing suit. No socks, no shoes. Go read the sign. Um, well, we didn't know, but she'll get right out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm right out of the pool. Huh? So, um, wait, what's that? It's a ticket, and you have to pay it. $500? What? That's the cost of having all the threads from your clothes taken out of the pool filter. Have a nice day. Ugh, why is she saying have a nice day? She wrote me tickets for $1,000 today. And now you see why I sit on the couch and eat Doritos. But Molly, didn't you have fun? I mean, a little bit? Ugh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Even if I got a bunch of tickets and looked like a total fool in front of the school bully. Excuse me, you still look like a fool. Has she been standing there that whole time? Um, no, it looks like she's in her car, Molly, and driving the block just to see you get the ticket. Oh, Sarah! Well, at least we're still BFFs. Really? You still want to be my best friend even though I've been really selfish? Yeah, Molly, after today and how devoted you were to me, there's no one I'd rather be my best friend. Oh, Brookie. Now, will you do the banana dance again? Are you serious right now? No, I'm not going to do the banana dance! Molly, I still have a few more minutes of my 24 hours. Oh, okay. I'm a banana, ba ba banana. I'm a mama banana, ba ba banana. I'm a banana, ba ba banana. Good morning. It looks like you definitely need to be here at the salon. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Well, your hair is just a little out of date. Out of date? This hairstyle is amazing. Um, no, you definitely do need a different haircut. Um, are you Molly? Yeah, I'm here to have a pedicure and not get my hair done. Well, um, can I recommend that I just shampoo and condition your hair and maybe give you a more up-to-date style? Um, I don't know. I've had this haircut, like, pretty much my whole life. Exactly my point. Your hair just needs a little updating. Come on, sweetie. I know what I'm doing. I just got out of beauty school. Well, does that mean you don't have very much practice? No, that's not what it means at all. Okay, yeah, it kind of means that. But trust me, look at my hair. Doesn't it look amazing? Well, it's a little bit, um, bright for my taste. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. 
Ow, that water's too hot! Sorry, <laughs> I've only washed people's hair at, hair at hair school. I can tell. Um, it feels like you're cutting a lot of hair off. Am I gonna be bald at the end of this? No, of course not. I hope, anyway. You don't sound very confident. Um, yeah, your hair's gonna be beautiful, I promise. Just don't look in the mirror till I'm done. Okay, what do you think? My hair is, 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 is pink! Um, yeah, uh, no, I don't need to look like cotton candy. Please change it. Okay, I thought it was adorable, but whatever you say. What about this? I put some highlights on the end. Whoa, it doesn't even look like me. I look like a superstar! <laughs> My sister is such a fashionista, she's not going to even believe this! Well, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Have a wonderful summer! Thank you! Bye! OMG, look at me! I look like a supermodel! Daisy! Daisy, wait till you see my new hairdo! You're gonna be so jealous! Who's gonna be jealous? Why does it sound like I'm talking from the couch, but I'm actually standing over here? Who are you? Wh why do you look like me? Because I'm the better version of you, duh! The better version of me? Where did you come from? Wait a minute. Is that my iPad? <laughs> no. Now it's my iPad. Wait a minute. You're you're my identical twin? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to take over your life. Um, well, I'm not really sure you'd want it. I mean, there's a lot of homework in it and chores. There's also an annoying sister named Daisy. I don't care about all that. I just want to live here. This house is really nice. This town is really nice. And that boyfriend of yours seems really nice, too. Don't you go near Luke! Well, I have to apologize, Molly. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, you could say that again. You're trying to take over my life? Ooh, what's that? A shamrock shake from McDonald's? It sure is. And I'm giving it to you. Wow. Hmm. That tastes, wait a minute, that tastes kind of weird. <laughs> That's because it's a special kind of drink. Wait, what? What's in this? This tastes really weird. Ew. <laughs> Too late now, you already drank it. What's happening to me? What? What am I? I, 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 I feel like I... I can't even be seen. Where'd you go, Molly? <laughs> Are you a ghost? Yeah, I am. What happened? If you're wondering what happened, <laughs> that drink I just gave you, it was, well, not your ordinary McDonald's shamrock shake. It basically had a potion in it to turn you into a ghost forever so I could take over your life. <laughs> oh my God, you're such an evil twin. Help, somebody help. No one can hear you. You're a ghost. Duh. Oh, no. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Boo. Boo. Stop that. Why am I making those boo noises? Oh, wait. I'm a ghost. That's right. Time to sign into Molly's Roblox account and become a star Roblox player. <laughs> now, what would she use as her password? Hmm. I know. Molly, I'm home. Remember, I always use the computer right after school to do my schoolwork. Whatever, I don't care what you want. You must be Daisy. Of course I'm Daisy. Molly, what's gotten into you? And besides, you don't want to get grounded, right? Because it's my turn on the computer. Your turn is until 5.30. I don't care what time is your time. I'm on the computer, so go away! What? Molly, I'm calling Mom. It's raining, Molly. Okay. I don't really care. And also, you smell like poop. Molly! How could you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Ma Ew, Molly, that stinks. Hey, Daisy, what's up? I'll be home soon, honey. I'm just finishing up at work. Is this an emergency? Mom, it's a total emergency. Molly is being a brat again. Well, that's sort of like every other day, right, Daisy? I wouldn't call that an emergency. She won't get off the computer. She just wants to sit on the computer and play Roblox. And I need to do my homework. Okay, put me on speakerphone. Molly, this is your mother. Get off the computer. I don't care what you have to say. 
Well, Molly, do you want to hear me say that you're grounded and can't go to the water park this weekend? Whoa, Molly's mom is kind of harsh. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get off the computer. Um, Molly, you're acting pretty cray-cray right now, even for Molly. Has something gotten into you? Yeah, something's gotten into her. She's not really me. I'm me. Boo. Whoa, did you feel that cold draft? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe it was a ghost, though. A ghost? That's creepy. I don't like ghosts. You would like me. I'm your friendly ghost sister. Daisy, come on. This is an imposter. It's not really me. You have to, you have to see me. Daisy, please. See me. Daisy. Boo. Oh, that's a breeze again. <laughs> I just better put on a sweater. It's a little chilly right now. How do I get Daisy to know that it's actually me and I'm a ghost? Wait a minute. I could try to move things around the house, and then she'd know something was going on. Maybe she'd suspect the evil twin isn't me. Um, um, wait. There's her birthday balloon. I could move that around the room, and then she'd wonder, who was doing that? Boo! floating around the room all by itself. That looks very strange. Must be just the wind. I mean, balloons don't move on their own. Oh, man. That didn't work. I'm going to have to try something more drastic. I wonder if ghosts can write. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ooh, we can't. Okay, let me leave her a note. Daisy, I'm a ghost. Oh, this pen quit writing. I wanted to say I'm your ghost sister, but all it says is I'm a ghost. How did this get written over here? It says I, I, it says I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a g -g 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 ghost. That's right, Daisy, I'm a ghost. Ah, there's a ghost in our house. Our house is haunted. Ah! Daisy, but I'm a friendly ghost. I'm your sister. I call the ghost exterminators. Call the ghostbusters. I need help. Okay, I need help. I need to call the Ghostbusters. Where's my signal? Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. Thank you for calling the Ghostbusters. We're sad to inform you that we will be on vacation for the rest of the month. What? You can leave a message after the beep, but you're probably gonna be ghost infested till we get back since we're the only Ghostbusters in Brookhaven. Leave a message after the beep and happy ghost hunting. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck with this ghost. It's so creepy. Why is there a ghost in my house? I don't understand. I mean, I don't think we built this house on an ancient burial ground. Daisy, snap, snap out of it. Daisy, snap out of it. Ah, how is the fire extinguisher blowing all on its own? Ah! Boo! Daisy, it's me! Wait, that sort of sounded like Molly? What? Wait a minute. But... You were just here a minute ago. How did you die? What? <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm right here. This is an imposter. That's not me, Daisy. Please. She had me drink a, 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 a potion and now, now I'm a ghost. You're so spooked by ghosts, aren't you, Daisy? I really am. And the weird thing was is it sounded like you, Molly. What? The ghost sounded like me? Now I know you're cray-cray. Did you hit your head today? Do we need to go to the hospital? I'm beginning to wonder starting to feel kind of crazy. Well, come on, we should probably take you to the hospital, and then maybe you should move out. Move out? What are you talking about, Molly? Yeah, you need to live in, like, the crazy hospital or whatever, because you're seeing and hearing ghosts. I do not! I'm not crazy! I know it sounded like my sister. I'm your sister! Are you sure? You seem extra crazy and rude to me. Daisy, please don't leave me in ghost form. I need your help. Help! Hey, what's this? Ooh, I left over shamrocks here. Daisy, don't drink that. No! Ooh, don't drink it. Daisy! Mmm, this tastes, whoa, kind of real. Oh, no. Oh, no. The evil twin's gonna take over our lives, Daisy. Now you're gonna be a ghost too! Ooh! Wait a minute. What's happened to me? Same thing that happened to me. Molly? You, you, you're a ghost? 
Yeah, and so aren't you. Wait a minute, I thought I heard a ghost in the house. Yeah, well, turns out I have an evil twin that got us to drink a potion that turned us both into ghosts, and now she's going to take over our lives. What? Yeah, she looks exactly like me. Ah, this is horrible news! See you later, ghosts. <laughs> that potion never wears off. Not ever. <laughs> huh, Daisy, we've got to figure this out. We can figure it out. Can she heal us right now? No. And it looks like she took off. Probably to take our car and use all our money to buy ice cream. That's what I would do if I was an evil twin. Oh, brother Molly. Now what are we going to do? I don't know. Live out our best life as ghosts? Molly! Well, that's all I can think of. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're actually flying to Hawaii. I told Molly this is going to be so much fun. I kicked a chupapaya chupapa. Don't be scared, baby Kira. I remember the first time I took an airplane ride and I was like, oh, I'm cheap. This is going to be scary. But then I had the time of my life. You should be um, super excited, not afraid. That's right, baby Kira. You should not be afraid because literally it is so much fun to fly in the sky. I love it every time I want to go on vacation. Yeah, and it sure beats walking to Hawaii. <laughs> Molly, you can't walk to Hawaii. <laughs> there's, there's an ocean there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Totally got to pay attention in geography more. <laughs> baby Kira, do you have your bag all packed? It says Toy Hero's baby Kira. She's all ready. I'm ready too, Molly. Except for my suitcase is really heavy. Uh, yeah, Daisy. That's why you're carrying it, not me. Okay, baby Kira. This is where you go into the airport. See, it says have a nice flight. And it shows pictures of a jet. And over here, this is where the airport staff go. And we're not an airport staff. Maybe when we grow up, we can work here or something. Hey, Molly and Daisy, are you going on vacation? Hey, Brianna, yeah, we are going on vacation. Um, We're going to Hawaii right now. Our parents are coming too, but right now we're just going to be in this video, just the kids, because they were like, no, my hair is messy. <laughs> no, that's not really the real reason. They just wanted us kids to be in this video. Um, I don't know how to get in here. Yeah, Molly, I thought you were an expert at flying. Over here, guys! Over here! Please scan your ticket. Okay, gotta get my ticket out. Here's my ticket and my passport. Okay, baby Kira, I'll need you to take your ticket and your passport out, please. Scanning, 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 scanning. Not really sure how to scan. Molly, like this! Oh, okay. Baby Kira, you cut the line. <laughs> what? It won't let me through. Oh, finally. Okay, now what you have to do, baby Kira, is you have to take your suitcase and put it up here on this conveyor belt. And then basically what happens is they check your suitcase and stuff. Make sure you haven't brought a bunch of snacks because they don't like you to bring snacks. Uh, then you walk through here like this. And wait till it turns green. See? Okay, baby Kara, your turn. Put your suitcase up there. Good job. Okay. Now you gotta put your suitcase up there. Yeah, put your suitcase up on the conveyor belt. There you go. Finally, she got it. <laughs> and you walked through security, right? Uh, baby Kira, I don't think it turned green. But it's okay, because nobody came after you, like the policeman or anything. If the airport security stops you, then you have to go back through. And this is the airport lounge. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get it ice cream. It's going to be super delicious. Want to buy the product cafe staff? No, I don't want to be staff. Why can't somebody just let me have an ice cream? Nobody works at this airport? Holy moly. I guess I'm going to have to get a job here just so I can get an ice cream.
There, finally. I did that, Papa Jiba Ice Queen. Okay, baby Kara. Well, I haven't worked here before, so I'm just trying to figure it out myself. Hold on a second. Oh, Molly, I'll work there if I have to. If you can't figure it out, cease. Uh, okay, hold on. I think I figured it out. Hi, yeah, yeah, Molly. Well, I'm not good at. I'm serving ice cream. What can I say? <laughs> Okay, it's not letting me click on anything. Maybe th there was no staff back here because it was broken. Don't, oh, Molly. You're just stinky at having an ice cream shop. Daisy, that's not nice. Fine, whatever. I didn't want an ice cream that bad anyway. I don't want to buy you ice cream, ice cream. Don't worry, baby Cuba. I'll help you, okay? Oh, my gosh. The plane has arrived at gate C. No time for an ice cream. We're going to be late for our flight. Oh, my gosh. How do we get to gate C? Gate C. Where's gate C? Oh, this is the one part I don't like about flying. You can never find where the gates are. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Everybody, let's go. Teleport between airports? No. Okay, where is my suitcase? Oh, yeah. I checked it. I forgot. You have to get on the conveyor belt. <laughs> gate A. That's not my gate. Gate C. No, that's not my gate either. I'm looking for gate C. Where are my sisters? Okay, they're right behind me. Good. Run, guys. We don't want to miss our plane. It looks kind of like a helicopter. Okay, here we go, guys. The gate C is boarding. Oh, my gosh. I just died. I don't know why I just died. Molly, I thought you were an expert at flying. I thought so, too, but, um, I guess not. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to miss my flight. O-M-G. Oh, my gosh. Can I get in here super fast somehow? Let me in. Yeah, I need my ticket. The plane's going to leave without me. This is super bad. Okay, I'm going to run. <laughs> I don't normally run, but today I have to run. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even using the um, escalator right now. I'm just, like, running over it. Come on, Molly. Hurry. You're going to miss your flight. Oh, my gosh. No. Okay, how do I get in? Okay, get up. Bye. Bye. Molly, we couldn't get in either. I don't think it's boarding yet. Yeah, it is, Daisy. Look at it. The runway thing is out. They're boarding. Excuse me. Can I come in? Uh-oh. She died. <laughs> Guess not. Molly, we're going to miss our flight to Hawaii. Let us in. Oh, my gosh. I can't get in. Let us in. I have no idea what's going on right now. There's all these people here. None of us can get in. All we want to do is board our flight. This is crazy. What are we going to do now? How do we... Maybe we can get out there a different way. I don't know a different way, Molly. I don't know either, Daisy. Are you airport staff now, Daisy? I had to be, Molly. I have to try to get so we can get in. Okay, someone opened gate C. Finally. Okay, let's go. It's still not letting me in. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It just killed me again? Are you serious right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta run all the way back to my gate. Just so you guys know, if you ever have to take a plane out of this airport, don't use gate C. It stinks. Excuse me. Excuse me, guy with the horns. Gotta go. Oh, MG, I'm gonna miss my plane. Probably not, though, because nobody else can get in there. Just let us out there. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to teach baby Kira how to use a plane, and I can't because basically nobody can get on the plane. Oh, look, at it's boarding. Come on, baby Kira. Come on. Daisy, let's go. So, baby Kira, this is the part where you walk onto the plane. Don't be afraid. I did the papa. Whoa. That's right, baby Kira. Whoa. And just like that, you're going to go on to the plane. See? 
Here we go. Um, I just fell underneath the plane. Is this bad? <laughs> I think this is super bad. Okay, I'm just gonna climb up these stairs here. Oh, do we go through here? No. Okay. Oh my gosh. Everybody is under the plane. This didn't go exactly how I thought it was going to. I thought, well, I'm going to teach baby Kira how to fly on an airplane. And then, oops. <laughs> they didn't link up the plane to the to the runway. Okay, some people are on there, but I don't know how they got on the plane. What is going on? I'm so confused right now. I'm giving this airport a one-star review. <laughs> okay, they got on. Maybe you just have to jump at the right time. Jump! Okay, I just jumped inside the plane, I think. Let me see. Yes! Finally! We got on the plane! Woo! Fancy! Yeah, it is fancy, huh, baby Kira? Okay. Everybody take a seat. Somebody just tried to push me out of my seat. Okay, so first class is 120 Robux. Nah. I don't think I want to buy that. You gotta go sit in the back if you don't want to be in first class. Back here. Back here in coach. Where it's crowded. Hey, where are you going on vacation? Hawaii? Yeah. How about you? Yep. This flight goes to Hawaii, so that's where I'm going too. We'll have a great time. Um, this, this, uh, airplane ride is pretty long, huh? Yeah, it's pretty long. But I don't mind. I kind of like flying. Me too! Um, my little sister, baby Kira, it's her first time flying. Okay, I just have to click this. How to fly a plane. Oh, wow. That looks really, really difficult. Good thing I don't have to fly it. Speaking of, I think I should go meet the, the pilot. I mean, seriously. I need to know who's flying this thing. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Hi, I'm Pineapple Aviation. Hi, um, please don't crash our plane. Be a good pilot, okay? Ooh, he's got mood lighting in there. <laughs> hey, Toyo fans! I had so much fun showing baby Kira how to take her first flight. Uh, it was a little crazy, but we ended up on the plane. And now we're going to Hawaii, guys. We're going to have so much fun. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel, where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!